Hello again, everybody, and welcome to Plum High School for tonight's WPIAL AAA playoff game between the Montour Spartans and the Highlands Golden Rams. Along with the Dean Mike Choma, this is Mike Pavlik greeting you from Plum High School. And on your screen right now, you see some great artwork that was done by Dick Natowski, um, basically chronicling the Rams' road, or actually... Uh, locomotive uh, road to Heinz Field that they've had so far. At, at least we're hoping that they uh, that they get that far. Let's bring in the Dean Mike Choma and uh, Dean. Uh, let's talk about this. We this is a great piece of artwork by uh, Mr. Natalski, and uh, we talked about it on the game last week. He does one before every game, Mike, and really fires up the kids. We asked to borrow it this evening. He was nice enough to let us do this. And again, like I said, it is the tracks to Heinz Field, and uh, we're going to try to keep it rolling here tonight. Ten and zero, going for eleven and zero. Can we see this team before? First game, we beat them 20 to 12. You have some theories about that. Well, it, it, there, there are two ways to look at it. I've always felt that when you play somebody for the second time, that um, that the team that lost has an advantage because they get to do the adjusting. They get to make the adjustments to, to what happened in the first game. Also, I have a theory called overconfidence by losing. And that is that when you lose by just a little bit, and then you say, well, if we would have just done this, this, and this, then we could have won. Never taking into account that the team that beat you might not have played their best game either. Some examples of that would be starting in the second half. We fumbled on our first two possessions, but Montour right before halftime blew a wide open pass in the end zone, dropped one. E.J. Banks had a, a touchdown call back. So you can look at both sides of the ball, but at the end of the game, we were leading 20 to 12. Last two years, Mike, we played opponents that beat us the first time. We lost the second time. We're in the catbird seat from that respect. We beat them the first time. Let's get them the second time. Well, we'll see what happens. It's Highlands and Montour right here from Plum High School. The winner plays the winner of the Mars Black. Blackhawk game that will also take place tonight. Let's see if the locomotive can keep on rolling to Heinz Field. Kickoff's coming right up. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Plum High School and the Golden Rams take the field. Short run for them this time, Mike, but again, they are fired up here. They realize what's at stake here. Quarterfinals game. Haven't been able to get over the hump the last two years, Mike. This should be the year, like I said, we beat Montour earlier. We have to come back and play that with that same intensity we did up there. That game, I thought, was a game to change the season. Because let's face it, most people went up there thinking we would lose the Montour. Once we won that game, gave them a lot of confidence. What was interesting at halftime, Coach Sam Elbert said that uh, Billy Devlin and Justin Clear went over at halftime and said, we're better than them, Coach. We can beat them. And uh, I thought that was very big in that game. Well, I... I... I, I think that in a 20 to 12 game, a lot of things. Montour had 130 yards worth of penalties that game. And we, and we talk about the things that you look at when you lose a close game like that. Uh, the things you want to point to as far as a, uh, a a possible thing to motivate you as you move on, and that might be one of the things that they look at. We knock the penalties down, we might be able to win that game. Well, they did shoot themselves in the foot a lot, Mike. But we had 50 yards of penalties in the first half too, so there were a lot of flags flying. There, no doubt about it. Let's talk about Jeff Sinclair, Dean. Um, an article in the paper by Mike White. Today. And of course, we chronicled it on the game last week. A thousand yards rushing, a thousand yards passing, and as far as Mike White can figure, maybe in ten games, the first player ever to do that. Boy, Mike, when you use the word "ever" in the WPL, that is really something. And again, quite a tribute for Jeff. 1,076 passing, 1,025 rushing. And let's give that offensive line credit, Mike, because they gave him the time to get that. Especially when you take a look at sacks. He hasn't been sacked very often this year. That's negative yards when it comes to rushing. And, uh, again. And Jeff is just such a competitor, and tonight he will be up against E.J. Banks, the Notre Dame recruit. Sam Elbert says that's the guy they have to stop. Banks has a bad groin strain, Mike. He's not going to start on defense, and then he went a half last week. He had thrown for 970 yards and rushed for 808, so again, uh, him and Sinclair are going to match up. In the first game, he had an interesting statistic that Jeff Sinclair accounted for 80% of our offense. He accounted for 75% of theirs. And one big difference is he thrown 161 passes. Jeff has only thrown 139. Sam Albert in his fifth season as coach of the Rams. Third straight year Highlands has gone to the playoffs. Um, the last two years, losing the second playoff game to someone that they had played earlier in the season. Again, here tonight, third straight year, you're playing someone that you played earlier. The difference this time is Highlands won the first meeting. They were not able to do that the first two times. And Mike, there's our captains out there, Jeff Sinclair, Brendan Lachino, Clayton Ham, Billy Devlin, Nate Hargrave is also a captain. He's not out there. There are a lot of sun out four. And again, it'd be very interesting to see who wins the toss, what Highlands decides to do. Montour's captains, E.J. Banks, Kerry Dieter, Fino Caliguire, and John Karras. It'll also be interesting to see if these teams have anything new to offer up that maybe that A, they didn't see from the other team in the first game or that they haven't seen on tape from the other team in the games that they've been able to view. 
Montour has won the toss, and they will take the football and move right to left on their white uniforms here, left to right in the first half. Highlands will be dressed in the home brown. They're the home team. They are the better seed. They are the two. Montour is the 10. Montour beat Yacht 40 to 14 up at Cougar Mountain last week. EJ Banks, 169 yards rushing on only seven carries, three touchdowns for him. He had a big night. Garrett McElwain also a captain out there for Montour, Mike. And again, we mentioned uh, one thing we saw that we didn't see in the first game, and that was Kerry De Dieter. He has been rushing a lot yep. more. And they came out in a spread offense, five wide, never had a huddle. And what I saw interesting, Mike, in the tape I watched it today was the fact that all 11 players looked over at the coaches to get the plays. They never went to a huddle. And I wonder if, uh, do, you know, do you try to get those signals if uh, you're Coming like the New England Patriots? The Highlands, number 24, Dave. So we'll see what we have here with the kickoff as Dave Bruderball will kick it off for Highlands. We mentioned Highlands will be in their home brown with the gold pants and the gold helmets. Montour in the white tonight with the black pants, the gold helmets, and the black numbers. Referees. Bill Heinkamp is a referee. Jim Conley is the umpire. Dave Paparella is the head linesman. Brian Long, line judge. Gerald Fry, field judge. Jeff Matthews, 25 second clock. Wally Schleck, they running the clock tonight for us, Mike. And not a hair out of place. He won't have to worry about that tonight. He's protected. We're set to go. Back deep to receive from on tour. Milton Banks in the middle. Phil Peckich and Nick McCune to receive this kickoff by Dave Buderball, who in the last two weeks has put three touchbacks on the books. And a beautiful night for football. Uh, it's starting to cloud up a little bit. Rain is in the forecast. And I think maybe getting a lead before that happens might be a big thing. Buderbaugh kicks a low line drive and it's bouncing to Milton Banks at the 13, out over the 25. And they get Banks as he gets up over the 30 to the 35 yard line. Down there for the Rams was Matt Urban Trout also. Milton still of the yellow shoes, Mike, the yellow gold shoes out there. Mm -hmm. His cousin E.J. Banks, the quarterback and the senior. Now, Mike, they're going to go fast. We'll try to get the offensive lead in as quick as we can. Kerry Dieter is the halfback we mentioned. We'll get to the Don Lyman here after this play. Milton Banks split to the right. McElwain in the slot. Ernest Stewart right up on him. Package is over to the left, and so is Nick McCune. Again, Banks, the quarterback, number five, checks the play. Now switches Dieter over to his left. Ten seconds to go. No huddle, Mike. They've taken a long time at the On line. first down, they run the option. Banks to the left. Toss to Dieter off the left side. That's breaks a tackle. Up over the game. 35. And he's going to be... The Rams trying to fight the ball away as Dieter gets it up to the 40, the 41-yard line. He gets a good gain. Jeffrey Sinclair trying to get that ball out of there. Sinclair, Vickers, and Duchette over there that time, Mike. And again, Dieter, we did not see him in the first game. Mike, they have a patchwork offensive line. They've been banged up. Dan McNerdy starts at center number 55. Joe Chester. Chesno is one guard, Jordan Mearhold the other guard, Mike Tyrone, and let's see if Fino Caliguire is out there. Mike, he's been injured too, 76. I think he is on the field. Wide side of the field to the right. You see they look over to the sideline and get the play. That's an assistant. That's not Lucero signaling those in. Package the motion man on the end around. Here he comes off the right side. It gets hit by Sinclair. Nice puts the shoulder down and knocks him down at the 44-yard line. He's about a yard short of the first down. Big third down to start already here, Mike. And again, they're going to go right out of the formation without a huddle. Wide receivers, number two is Tom Burko. Four is Milton Banks. We mentioned him, number seven, Nick McKinn. Third down a yard to go. Could be a quarterback draw by Banks. Rams have a guy in the middle, though. Lucchino's right in there. That Let's hope I don't have to call our defense up. Like a three and out is what we want. That's can stop it. A yard to go on third down. Long count by Banks. Out of the gun. All by himself. Package the motion man. Here's the fake. Banks. Kept by Banks, and they got him at the 42-yard line. Lucchino was in there, and so was Clayton Ham. He put the hammer down. And Troy Vickers, too, Mike. Vickers back in the lineup. Let's mention our defense real quick. Three and out is what you want it, Mike. Mr. Banks, last time, Mike, negative yardage in the second half, 16 yards. This time he gets negative yardage on third down. Going to force him to punt. Fourth down, and back deep for the Spartans to... Do the punting is Dennis McGowan. He gets it and boots it away. Big it's one. high. Sinclair back. 
signals and takes the fair catch at the 16-yard line. The Rams will start first and 10 at their own 16, and they force the Spartans on a three and out. All right, Mike, let's take the defense out for uh, the Montour Spartans. Number 70 will start the defense event, Mike Tyrone. Number 56, Peter Gorialis is the nose tackle. Also a tackle is number 75, Jordan Beerhalter. 76, Vino Kelly Wires out there. Linebackers, nine, nine Evan Pass, one Derek Schneider, four Milton Bank, 32, Dennis McGowan. Cornerbacks are number six, Aaron McGee, 40, Kerry Dietrich, and number seven is Nick McCune, Mike, and we're not seeing EJ Banks on defense tonight. Did not play there last week due to injury. First down, Highlands at their 17-yard line. There's a pull, double sidecar. They go right behind. Devlin Sinclair off the left side and gets it just about to the 20-yard line. Coming in for the Spartans that time was Evan Pass, the sophomore linebacker number nine. Banks is nursing a groin injury, Mike. It's one of those things that they said is only going to get better with uh, rest. So the rest of him on defense, and that shows the importance they have on their offense. Remember, he's a Notre Dame recruit for defense, so that's a big blow to them on defense tonight. Really looked like Devlin was moving early on that play. They're going to have to watch those. Second down, seven. Highlands at their 20-yard line, just underway, no score. Quarterfinal matchup. Sinclair again. He's going to go right this time behind Devlin, but good job by McGowan, the linebacker, to come up and make the tackle after a gain of about three. It'll set up third down and a long four for the Rams. And again, Mike, our offensive line, number 70, Nate Harker. He's a nice article about Nate in the paper day at left tackle. Left guard is Clayton Ham, 51. Cody Mame at center is 52. The right guard is Carl Garrett, 73. Right tackle is Tyler Runyon. Mention Jeff Sinclair, quarterback. Tonight, starting at fullback, is Tyrell Dudley, number 42. Billy Devlin is the feature back. Now we're going to go three wide. Dylan Powell splits to the left. As far to the right is Edwards. In the slot is Gabe Clark. Back is Sinclair, sprints out, fires, caught by Clark, got a first go, go breaks the tackle, a he's at the 50, 45, go. Cody, Gabe oh, Clark go. is going, Way 77 Gabe yards Clark. for a Highlands touchdown. Gabe Clark, and boy, I tell you, Mike, he caught that ball, and he got a great block downfield by Seth Edwards, and he went all the way. Play number one, Gabe Clark, the junior, Mike, outstanding job, great job by Gabe Clark, and that's the longest pass of the year for Sinclair, no doubt about 77 it. 77 yards and a Highlands touchdown, and a couple of Spartans missed tackles on the sideline. Boy, Sinclair got that there on a rope too quickly. Touchdown, Golden Rams. And Gabe Clark, Mike, has not even played a wide receiver that much. Normally, Tyler calls our wide receiver out there, but Gabe got it and made it happen. Mame snaps it. Lenoski puts it down. Booterbaugh's kick is up. That kick is good. 8.22 to go first quarter. Highland 7, Montour nothing. We'll be right back. A 77-yard touchdown pass from Gabe Clark, Gabe Clark to Jeff Sinclair. Only Gabe's third catch of the year. It couldn't have been any bigger than that, I guess, huh? Great start for the Golden Rams, Mike. First possession score. Hold them out in their first possession. You, you, again, want, you wonder if you get up on these guys a little bit, what their attitude's going to be. And Jeff Sinclair is trying to get everybody up there, Mike. And we got a packed house here, Mike. We're going to have to, during a timeout, uh, cruise the stands on our side because it is loaded. And it's all Brown, Mike. The Brown out road trip is working. Booterbaugh kicks it deep. Milton goal Banks line. down to the two-yard line, out over the 15. Uh, far side of the field, 25. Look out. Finally gets brought down at the 22-yard line as Bushman and Dylan Leslie. Dylan Leslie, right. They've been coming up big on special teams, Mike. Dylan, Dylan Leslie, again, coming off that hip injury at early in the year. Did a nice job there. So Montour will start first and 10 at their 24-yard line. See Coach Romito in front of us outside here. Saw him in the booth earlier tonight, retiring. A lot of winning at, notes. Coach at Plum here for many, many years. Yeah, Mike, everybody looking at the sidelines to get the play. I don't know why they just don't go in the huddle. And you wonder how much the Highlands kids can pick up over there. First down at the 24. Well, having played him a second time might be an advantage. Banks on a Wide slant. Open. This one's pulled in by Milton Banks. He gets it up over the 35 to the 38-yard line. Gary Negley makes the stop, but that's a first down for Montour. Banks was open that time on a Friday night. You don't see that very often. It's 11 on the play. First first down for the Spartans. First pass attempted by E.J. Banks. He had a good night throwing the ball against Highlands the first time these two teams played. Banks threw for 137 yards, 14 for 26. Rams shut him down running in the second half. First and 10 Spartans at the 38. 
And on a fake, and Banks keeps it. This is EJ off the left side, turns a corner. Sinclair tries to chase him out of bounds, but not before he gets a first down. Uh -oh, Thrown into the Montour Parker. bench, and a flag comes from way down the field. The guy that was right there didn't throw the flag. The uh, official far behind did. Now yeah, again, Mike, there. But that was a little he, much. Yeah, he was on the field when he hit him, but the no, he wasn't. Was he was out of bounds. Well, took him out of bounds, and got a 15 yards on top. Not what you wanted to come back with, that's for sure. So Banks did a good job of turning the corner that time. The left side of the Montour line sealed it and got him out there. So give so him 12. 14 yards on the pickup. And then they're going to add 15 on the penalties. We talked about the first time these two teams played. The Montour with 130 yards worth of penalties. And now they are in business. They're at the Highlands 32-yard line. Jeff has to be careful too, Mike. I mean, that's one thing. You don't want to lose somebody that way. That's for sure. All right, Mike, they come right back after that big strike by Hines. Quick on the 77-yard touchdown. Just joining us to Gabe Clark from Jeff Sinclair. Now, everybody's looking over, Mike, all 22 players, not just their 11. They call out a different play, and you see Banks looks to the wristband to get the play. Option right this time. Toss oh, back at he's hit, and down Hello. he goes. It's Ernest Stewart. Oh, take it easy, Ernest. Nice play on defense. He was waiting for him that time. Five-yard loss. Make it second and 15. Well, that's what they do. They run that option, and that time Ernest came through. Ernest Stewart is a much different ball player here in Week 11 than he was in Week 2. A lot more experience out there. and uh, Five wide now, Mike. We saw this a lot last time we played him. Everybody it's Banks over. and McElwain and Pekic and McCune and Dieter all out there. All looking at the plays on their wrists. Look at that. Yeah. Here's the snap to Banks. He lets it go. It's tipped nice. at the line of scrimmage. Coming in, I think maybe Devlin hit him. I think Mike Doucette got a piece of that ball, though. Yep. Devlin made him put him up a little higher. Doucette knocked it down and make it third and long, Mike. And this well, is one thing we were very successful with in the second half. After we made two big mistakes, we shut him out. Well, here's the thing. If you're going to spread out your field like that and put all those wide receivers all over the place, the blitz is open. Yep. And you can come through and get some lanes on Banks and make him hurry his throws, and that's what you have to do. And the Rams with more guys up there again as they have nine men in the box, eight. And, Mike, we know their uh, kicking game is questionable. They missed their only extra point attempt against us uh, last they, time we played them. So, again, they've struggled, struggled in subsequent weeks also. Third down, 15. Banks is back. Has some time. Now here comes the rush. Let's it go. It's caught by Pekic on the near side of the field. He gets knocked out of bounds in front of the Highlands bench at the 31-yard line, but he's well short of the first down. Okay, decision time, Mike. Fourth and about seven. What do you think they're going to do here? Well, we'll see. It's fourth down. They're going to go for it. There's no reason not to at the 30-yard line. It was an eight-yard gain that time. Pass complete to Pekic. It's fourth down, and they will go. Two for two so far, passing for Bank. Fourth and seven. Big play, Montour. First time these two teams played, Montour was 0 for 1 on fourth downs. Here's a big one here, Mike. Can you imagine the momentum swing if we can hold him out here? He's got Dieter in the backfield. Banks is back. Hit as he throws. Incomplete. There Had to go. throw it too Great soon. Tried to get it for Milton Banks. Like Dino, Mike. Dino pressured him right up the middle, forcing a punt. I tell you, those yellow shoes are driving me crazy. Because every time I see him on the field, I think there's a penalty marker down. <laughs> <laughs> so Highlands gets the ball back. They hold him on downs. And again, those two blitzes, the one by Devlin. And that time they brought Lucchino up the middle. They made EJ throw the ball before he wanted to. And he couldn't get that slant pattern. The timing was thrown off. That is the key, Mike. So Highlands will put it in play, first and 10 at their own 30-yard line. They lead this game 7-0 on a 77-yard touchdown pass from Sinclair to Gabe Clark. And now they go wishbone. And a turn and a give to Lucchino. Two hands on the ball. Ooh, Barrels one man over, but Banks. Milton Banks throws him back to the 31-yard line. Good hit by Milton. Up. Slow getting up and coming off, Mike. He's hurt. Oh, he got it right in the ribs. Second down and seven for the Rams at their 33-yard line. Clock winding, 6.19 to go, first quarter, 7-0 Highlands. Tell you how tough a kid is, Mike. He's not coming out, but he got popped, there's no doubt about it. Seth Edwards split to the right. Play fake out of this formation with Edwards on the island over there. 
Here it is, and Sinclair is back. He's going to throw it out of the backfield to Tyrell Dudley. Tries to make Banks miss. He, he does. does. Up over the 35 to the 38-yard line. Steps out of bounds in front of the Montour bench. They're going to mark it at the 37. It's going to bring up a third and three for the Rams. Number 42, Tyrell. Sinclair is two for two. And brings up a big third down play here. Trying to keep this drive alive again. 5.55 to go in the first quarter. Hines leading here 7 to nothing. Dudley with the catch, and the Dudley brothers have been making their presence known the last few weeks. Third catch of the year for Tyrell. He's had some light. He had a long 80-yard touchdown in the game last week against Laurel Highlands. Third and three. Sinclair tries to get to the left. He tries to get outside. Makes one man miss. Gets the first down. 45 and out of bounds at the 47-yard line. It's a Highlands first down. Phil Peckage made the stop, but the Rams moved the sticks. And again, Mike, he just kept stringing it out, stringing it out. How am I going to get on that one? That's an eight-yard pickup for Jeff. First down Rams. 14 yards on three carries for Sinclair, Mike. And again, more importantly, first down Golden Rams. 547 left first quarter. Rams scoring on a three-play, 83-yard drive. Of course, 77 yards came on one play. From the 45, out of the gun, Devil in the sidecar, and the give is to Billy, off the right side. Breaks one tackle, here he comes, he gets hit, and look at him squirt forward up to the 50-yard line. Evan Pass put a shoulder into him, but Billy would have none of it, and he leaned ahead and got five yards. Mike, you had an interesting statistic about uh, yardage that they gave up against Jock in the victory last week. Yeah, and a very interesting number. Uh, that Jock gained 347 yards on the ground against Montour last week. I don't know if that was garbage yards after the game was out of hand, because Montour had, had they had them beaten at halftime, much as the same as our game was. And you don't know if they basically let Yawk run out the clock or not. And Yawk's got a great runner, but um, that was interesting. You, you, you wonder about something like that. The Rams weren't able to roll up big yards rushing the first game. Sinclair back, throws it out here. Oh, incomplete off the fingertips of Ernest Stewart at the 46-yard line. Closely, or loosely covered by Dennis McGowan. And Ernest was open, but the pass just a little bit high. We mentioned the victory last week by Montour. All Parkway Conference teams, Mike. Newcastle, yeah. Blackhawk, and Hopewell won. So. All won. And in our conference, Indiana, Highlands, and Mars all won. The only interloper is TJ. Three out of four. And uh, Indiana, by the way, Mike White picked them for an upset tonight. Playing Newcastle. That's He also picked an upset here with Montour, so we're not going to hold that against uh Did he really? Yep. He pa saw the first game. Holland picked Highlands. He picked Montour. Here's a roll by Sinclair. Looking, looking. Pops, fires, caught. Dylan Powell has it at the first 41. Down, Up the Powell. Spartans, and that's a first down. Tackle made by Milton Banks, but the Rams get another first. Sinclair now three out of four for 90 yards. Mike, you can do it both ways, as we talked about earlier. The only quarterback documented in WPL history to have a thousand yards rushing and a thousand yards passing. Some of the names Mike mentioned: Terrell Pryor, Joe Montana. You name it. Players come through. Joe he mentioned. Davis. He mentioned Terrell Pryor. Um, Eric Kasparovich from North Hills and uh, Tyler Palka. Yep. Not them done with Jeff. Is done. From the 41 yard line, to give us the Dublin off the left side with a face, a, 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 a stiff arm on McElwain. I thought he grabbed the mask, but no call there. That's that's good for Billy. He gets he gets a good solid five, maybe six. Yeah, Mike, that's the hard yard up, up the gut. That's what we have to do. Pond it inside, and Billy did it that time. PA announcer said Garrett McElwain made the tackle. I think he more absorbed the blow. Yeah. Shoulder down. I met Garrett, fine young man, by the way. That's what I've been told. Yeah. Second and five. Wishbone. Devlin off the right side. Here's Turn a up, Billy. Good block by Lucino and Devlin able to sneak it down to the 32-yard line. He's going to be about a half a yard short of the first down. The right one to turn it up to him. I'm glad to see Brennan Lucino. Again, he got popped early on, but Brennan is one tough customer. One tough hombre? That's yeah, tough hombre. Luis Sanchez. Third down, less than one. The ball's at the Montour 32-yard line. Sinclair gets his signals and Again, comes Mike. back on the field. 3.25 to go first quarter. Highlands leads it 7-0. Quarterfinal round WPIL playoffs. 
The winner plays the Mars Blackhawk winner. That game taking place at Moon. How important it is to get up by two scores? The Mike. turn to give the devil it off the right side and a great tackle. Evan Pass, the sophomore, comes in, stops him for a loss. It's fourth down. Decision time for Sam Albert. They'll go for it. I would think so too, Mike. Even though uh, we are in uh, field goal range, uh, no, it's 50 it yards. I, I, You're I, not I, in field goal. Range. I saw him last night. He did one from 50 to end the practice, so we couldn't. But again, let's get the first time. We don't know how blessed we are, Mike. With, with kickers. Yes, I do. <laughs> I've seen lots of not great ones, believe me. Here we I go. know how blessed we are. You Fourth down. They go from the gun, though. Two sidecars. Oh, and everybody moving. Four. Wow. Billy, I'll tell you what. Billy, Billy moved early, I think, on the first play of the game, too, and they didn't catch it, and we got a break on that one. I think now you punt them down there. Yeah, it might not be a bad idea, Mike. If it's, I mean. Yeah, let's see how well he threw it on our side. Yeah, they did. Remember the flag rules? Bill Hyde camped the referee. A false start yep. call against the Rams. Highlands penalized twice for 20 months. Or no penalties tonight for no yards, but Highlands is still leading 7 to nothing. So the ball will be back at the 37. And does that change? Things? Let's see how much confidence we have, Mike, in our offense. Well, this would be con no, this is confidence in your defense if yeah, you go for this. Very good point, Mike. Very good point. I would I would punt the ball. I'm going to get that on record right now. I agree with you there. Fourth and six at the four at the 37 yard line. Of course, Jeff could quick kick it. He has punted a few times this year, so you could see that too. There's nobody back there, so he could get it to die. Here's the snap. Sinclair is back. Rolling. Runs okay, up through the middle. Yes, Breaks the tackle. Is. Gets the first down. Oh, He's at the 25-20. Great 15, block. Up there. Quarter, a block in the back. And a flag is down. Terrible call. It's going to be a first down, though. The flag falls at the 19-yard line. Call. Sinclair goes in for the apparent score, but the flag will nullify that, but the Rams get a free. He's unbelievable. Mike, that was not a block in the back. That guy turned up, Dylan Powell nailed him, and you watch that replay and tell me. That was a bad call. So Sinclair gaining 18 yards gets the first down. That's the important thing. The Rams will keep possession of the football, but the penalty, the 10-yard penalty, will bring the ball back. Shame it was, we didn't need to block either, Mike. He had a beat, To I the 16-yard line. But Dylan Powell level. 21-yard game. So the ball will be at the 26. There's a clear now, four rushes for 35 yards. Five rushes for 53. Oh, I missed one in there? You missed the last one. <laughs> That'll do it. Am I right? I'll take your word for it, Mike. Five for 53. I got Kino one for two. Oh, no, I'm sorry. No, it's... It's four for 35. You were right. My bad. I added it twice after Wait I... Wait a second. After Please, I, everybody, stop the tape. After I fixed it. Mike said I was right. I fixed it. 2.07 to go. First down at the 26. What do we got now? Timeout Highlands. Their first at 2.07 left first quarter. Rams leading at 7 nothing. And again, Mike, uh, interesting to note there uh, that as far as Sinclair goes, I know 1,000-yard rushes. We talked about the 1,000-yard passing, too. Uh, what control he has as far as picking the holes out. That time, again, he waited for that last block. And again, I thought it was a good block. It's a shame we went down there. Now, we mentioned we beat these guys in week two, 20 to 12. And uh, last year, it's interesting, Montour was in the same position we were. In. Right. They were 10 and 0. They were the number two seed. And they marched on the Heinz field. Uh, Samson and Paper like to see the same results. There's no doubt about it. There's a the guy down there uh, getting some water. There's again. Nate Hargraves. who had a nice story on him in the uh, Valley News today. Six foot four, 270 pounds. Mike, he's been the leader of this defense, off, offensive line this year at left tackle. And again, when they need something, they go left. And uh, Nate has been there and done a great job. 2.07 to go here in the first quarter. The Rams, a gutsy gamble by Sam Albert there, and it paid off going for it on fourth and six. But it's not like it's, it isn't anything he hasn't done all year. Highlands now. In 2008, 16 for 24 on fourth down conversions. Think of that a minute. Yep. 16 for 24. And that was that was 65 percent coming into the game. One of the few fourth downs we missed, Mike, was against this team. We were one for two that night, if memory serves yep. me correctly. First down at the 26 yard line. The Rams leading at seven nothing, and really a time of possession definitely in their favor here. Boys got all day, back. Mike. Stops, he can back comes to the near side, gets no, a good block Mike, from that's, that's a bad, bad call. That is a, that bad, is a call. bad call. It's intercepted and dropped. Pyle came up for it. That was not a block in the back no by way. 
And then they could have also got him by Runyon. I had the glasses on that one. He got him. He, he turned around and he got him right on the shoulder. We're the ones now, Mike, doing the damage with the uh, penalties. That's our fourth one already here. Holding call. Trying to even that up a little bit. Put it back at the 36 and make it first. Oh, it, it may be a four penalties now for 40 yards. Wet. It's a spot foul, so it's going to be worse. Um, it's going to be back at the 32. Now, they're asking Montour about this one, but I think I think you take the yardage at this point. Jeff, again, got uh, pill back. He could have ran for a long, long time, Mike. By the way, Jeff Sinclair and E.J. Banks were both picked for the preseason Fab 22, and uh, I know Jeff's held his end above it. I think uh, Mr. Banks has to... He's leaving early, Mike. You know that. He is going to be graduating, He's graduating in, December. in December and heading off to Notre Dame. Yeah. Yep, he'll be in the spring class and he'll uh, get to practice in the spring. And I guess they have big plans for him out there in Notre Dame. It's going to be first and 26 from the 42. And again, time ticking away here in the first quarter. That's a long, to go. long quarter. 156 to go. So. You know they have four downs, and the field goal comes into play now. Sinclair just going to run a sweep to the right. Behind Devlin, inside the 40, 35, still going. Out of bounds at about, well, they're going to call it the 34-yard line. So Sinclair gets eight yards back on that one. Second down and about 18 to go. Just trying to get some there. As the clock winds down to one, it stops at 148 with the out of bounds play. Rams leading at seven to nothing. By the way, Mike, I have a special report at the end of the first quarter. So, do we have that uh, screen we can get the Chrono to a special report? Breaking news? Breaking, well, it's not really breaking. Oh, okay. But it's a special report. Everything's breaking news these days, isn't it? <laughs> Dylan Powell splits to the left. Clark in the slot. Sinclair back. Looking. Time. Steps up. Throws it deep. It Edwards down oh. there and it's incomplete. Kerry Dieter was back there as the coverage man against Seth. But it falls incomplete in the end zone. It's going to be third down and 18. And now, the Montour might just want to keep everything in front of you. But if we can hit something underneath, then we can bring David Buda ball. Right. And this would be the time that you get some back and then you could try that field goal and try to get up by two scores. Yep. That's the 142 key. to go. Or you try to... You, you, you try to get half of it and then go for it on fourth. Interesting proposition. Right? they got to get to the 17-yard yeah. line. I'd like to put some points on the board. Buderbrod might have been practicing kicking, Mike. Those guys are down he at that. He probably knows. Time. Three wide. Play four. clock down to two. They got to hurry. They get Quickly it get it to Sinclair. Rolling to the left. Here comes uh -oh, the push. Uh -oh, He's uh -oh. in trouble. He throws it away. Where's the flag? Looking for it there, but none to be had. Boy, Jeff got hit. I'll tell you what, by George Beerholder, he got hit late that time. He got fined in the NFL. I don't think right. it wasn't a penalty, yep. but it was, it was, we, call it, we call it football here in the WPIAL. But uh, you're not allowed to do that in the NFL anymore. Doesn't stop from finding Like Jeff looks a little shaken Jeff's up. Jeff's hurt. His shoulder, he's dragging it. As he comes off, the Rams are going to punt. Shoemaker's coming out, averaging 31.7. Mike decided to not get sacks all year, but he's that didn't to the look side. good. And Jeff slams his helmet down, and he gets well. At least he uh, used his shoulder well that time. He did. That's Jeff. So all for naught, Mike. Montour still in this thing. Seven to nothing to go. Bang. Thirty-five. And package the deep man here. They come. Oh, Jeff. They like to get in there and try to block those. Banks takes it. He catches it at the five. Out over the 10 with a marker down. And that's going to put a little hurting on the Spartans as Banks gets it out to the 14-yard line. And now we'll... Did he fair catch it, Mike? And then he may have, Dean. I'm not exactly sure. I was worried about maybe a face mask here. I was watching the near block. So we'll see. 29-yard punt for Shue. Uh, they're backing him up, Mike. So. Lock in the back call. It'll be a short one, though, because half the distance penalty, and the Spartans are going to be pinned. They're going to be back at their four-yard line. So how many, how many penalty yards do we have on that one, guys? That's their first one, Mike. I'm going to give him five. Just make a nice rod number. Sounds like a plan. Here we go again, Mike. Everybody looking over to the coaches. Where are they? Got to have good eyes to see them back in the end zone. And they have a different oh, quarterback to give. Is the Dieter is at a safety. Ball's loose. 
What do we have? I think the ball's loose. Nope, second down at the half yard line. Oh my god. They goodness. snuck in. Uh, Josh Bryan was the quarterback. No, he was out. Josh Bryan was the quarterback on that play. There was no E.J. Banks in there. He's not in there right now. Who made the tackle? Mike, who popped it? And they gave it to Dieter. Well, somebody popped. Might have been Locks or Vickers or somebody, but uh, Dieter gets minus two on that play. As they, yeah, that ball came out by Curley. Josh Bryan, number 21, Interesting. is back there at quarterback. I got a feeling that Banks might be hurt. We had trouble with it. Throws it out here. It's caught on the far side by Nick McCune. He brings it up over the 10 to about the 13-yard line. He's going to be close to the first down. So Josh Bryan is the Montour quarterback. Where is E.J. Banks? Question. By number 30, Clark, number 33, Bill. And they get third and a long two. Mike. So where are they putting it? They're putting it at the 12. They don't have to run this play if they don't want to, Mike. 13 seconds to go. I think they're going to let the time expire and try to get things set up. Good question. Where is EJ Banks? We'll have to look along the sidelines here, Mike. And it is seven seconds, and the Spartans don't look too interested in getting this one off. The first quarter will come to an end at Plum High School in this quarterfinal matchup. Highland 7 and Montour nothing. Dean, you got some stuff for us while we look for Mr. Banks. Yeah, we try to get on the sidelines, Mike. Uh, a lot of shout outs today. Uh, I started talking about uh, 90 year old Garnet Garrett. She never misses a game. It is Carl Garrett's great grandmother and uh, my new BFF. Mrs. Garrett wanted me to say hello to her. And in the process, we can see uh, on the sidelines over there. We started to talk about grandparents in general. We were at a scrapbooking meeting, and uh, a lot of the grandparents uh, either attend the games or they watch them on Comcast, never miss a Saturday morning. Cody Mame has Grammy and Pappy Reese. Matt, Nathan Maskus has Grand Carol and Grandpap Judgy Chislinski. Bill Devlin has Grandma and Grandpap Alice and George Boyle and Grandpap Grandma Peggy. You got him over there on the side. There it is. Banks with an ice bag on his left knee. That's bad news for Montour. But I got good news. There's more grandmothers. Clayton Ham and <laughs> Grandma. You ready for this, Mike? Grandma Confetti Ham. She All always right. Throw confetti. Brenda Lakino has Grandma Collins. Jeff Sinclair has Grandma Dorothy Deloise. And Grandma Sinclair is watching for the best seats in the house. Mike Shoemaker has Grandma Kolowitz. Carl Garrett has Grandma, Grandpa Garrett, and Grandma Smith. No apple there. And Kenny Choma has Grandpa Art. All the grandparents have checked in for the scrapbooking committee. That's a big, you won't believe the job that is, Mike. They put a scrapbook together for the kids. It's fantastic. Every year they do it. It takes months to do, and uh, it's just going to be an amazing story this year. Fourth, third down and two. I was going to say the last play that Banks ran was an incomplete pass when he was blitzed, if you remember. He's over there with the ice bag. I give it the package on the end around. He's hit. No drop by Lucchino back at the seven yard line. So Montour's going to have to punt, and that changes the complexion of the game if Banks can't come back in there. There's a flag now. Hold the phone. Let's see what that's all about. I gave it. I'd have to say hold him like that. He's trying to run a trap. Let's see what we got here. Illegal procedure. Would that be before the play, Mike? Well, if they let it go, I mean. There probably wasn't enough men on the line of scrimmage. You just decline it. If they let the play go, if, yeah. it's, if it's before the play, you got to whistle it dead. Right. Did they or didn't they? That's the question. But anyway, back to football. Two plays in a row, Banks got hit on inc he had an incomplete pass on the decline. fourth down play. And in the play before that, he completed a pass to Peckish for eight yards, but he was hit on that one too. And the Rams hit him. They got, they got him twice. They came free on blitzes. And Banks right now over on the Montour bench with his legs stretched out and an ice bag on it. That doesn't look good. Yeah, not good news. He had a groin injury coming in, Mike. And again, like I said, that knee's a problem. He's not going to be out the rest of the night here. Fourth and nine. Rams should get great field position. McGowan boots it out of there. It's going to hit. Sinclair lets it go. Picks it up at the 50. 45. Out of yeah, steps out of bounds go. at the All 42. Right 
Great field position for Highlands at the Montour 42 yard line. 11 31 to go, first half. Highlands leads it 7 0. And Mike, we've returned a lot of punts this year when you think about it. We haven't caught a lot of punts this year. Well, and again, with Jeff Sinclair back there, he's back there just playing safety. We don't want to take any chance with him unless he gets a clear run at something and we need that's, it. By the way, that's not a cut at our guys. That's an epidemic in high school, college, and pro football. Yeah, it's sure. like the bunt is a lost art in baseball. No one can catch a punt anymore. Troy Vickers is going to check in the lineup at fullback. Ah, there we go. And, uh, Troy played that position a lot against uh, Montour La in the first game. He's a fullback now, going with the wishbone. First down, Highlands at the Montour 42-yard line. And the give is to Lucchino. And Lucchino will get some good surge behind Clayton Ham and Vickers helping out inside the 40 to the 37-yard line. As boy, Evan Pass, number nine for Montour, has been very active defensively for them. Coming up to make tackles. And again, Mike, again, would like to get that two touchdown lead. And we had a chance to do it on our last possession. Killed ourselves with penalties. Four for 40 yards on that drive. Let's see if we can go penalty free this time. On second down, they give to Lucchino again. Lucchino is grabbed around the ankles. Evan Pass again from linebacker. He's only a sophomore. He's got a good one already. Ball spotted at about the 34-yard line. It's third and two Highlands. 10.40 to go, first half. Bradley Keenan now, three rushes for 11 yards, Mike, and that's, uh, that's all we'll see him tonight, right? <laughs> <laughs> Usually, huh? Three or four. 48 top. carries in 10 games, so he's between four and five, I guess. Maybe more, who knows? Here we shouldn't, go. Shouldn't Third this be short. Jeff Sinclair running now? Third and short, they go power. Give it to Lucchino. Off the, the left side, he's got a first off. down and more. McElwain runs him wow. out of bounds at the 25-yard line. That's a first down. We're on the back of Brennan Lucchino right now, Mike. Four rushes for 20 yards, first down. And again, they've got something up inside there, Mike. They're taking advantage of pounding in Lucchino and Devlin. Nine yards for Brendan on that one. It's first down Highlands at the Montour 25. And if you just joined us, Highlands a long touchdown pass. Gabe Clark receiving it from Jeff Sinclair. And EJ Banks, the great quarterback, is just up and he's gimping really badly. And it doesn't look good for him over there right now. You hate to see that, Mike. The turn, and the give is to Devlin off the right side. Tries to squirt between a couple of men, but Pass and McElwain make the stop as he gets it down to the 23. By the way, Mike, the prediction of the birdie had us winning 28-21. And uh, Rob Burkowski had hot as 28-20. Eddie had us 41 to nothing, so he's still in the pool. Danny Blecky, 28-21. We got Dave and Bill out there tonight, Mike. Spent some quality time with Dave and Bill. Dave had a 28-21. Bill had a 21-13. How about Rutt? 28-20. 28-20. That's correct. I heard that one myself. Yep. We were on the golf course yesterday at Rutt. So, you know, he, yeah, we... On my he, bucket he let, list is to beat Rikoski. He let us play with him, believe me. Exactly. Sinclair's in trouble. Gets around the corner. Now he tries to He's keep going. He stays yet, in bounds. He's at the 25 and Look still going kid. to the 20-yard line. Unbelievable. I thought he was out of bounds Nick for McCune sure. finally got him. They're going to... A couple, a couple of guys are dizzy right now, and they're going to have to check and make sure they're all right. But the longest three yards he's going to rush for in his career. Third down and five for Highlands at the Montour 20-yard line. Kid never quits on a play. 9 7 to go. First half. Rams lead it by a score of 7 nothing. Plum High School here tonight, Mike. Five, five miles from your doorstep, you said? Five miles from my front door, yeah. That's nice and close. The only place I could have played it closer was Valley. <laughs> Ernest Stewart getting off late here, Mike. On third down, Sinclair is back and rolling. Looking, Look behind, looking, get fires hit. it. Intercepted. Intercepted, Terry Dieter at the goal line. Out over the five. Hargraves chasing him. Comes back through the middle, up over the 10 to the 12-yard line. Cody Mame makes the tackle. But Montour with a big play. And boy, they squandered a chance there because they were in short field goal range too. Well, after the play, Mike Philip Plasky hit Tyler Ryan. Tyler Ryan is taking a couple late hits tonight. Jeff now, three out of six, and through his first interception. Terry Dieter picks it off, so Montour right back in this thing. The Rams have had a couple of chances to put the dagger in, but they haven't been able to do it. Josh Bryant's still out there, quarterback, Mike. First down at the 11-yard line, and uh, all the players have plays on different parts of them, and they look for them after they get the number signaled in. 
Brian back and he fires. It's caught by Milton Banks. He's got a first down up over the 25. Tackled by Negley up at the 25 yard line. First down. Rams ended up with a ball. Lucchino came in there to get it, but he, he was down. Number 25. Josh Bryant, two for two for 23 yards, Mike. 14 yard pickup. Brian is a junior, 5'10", 170 pounds. <laughs> Catch by Milton Banks. Trips now, Mike. We only have two guys out covering. Dieter resets on the other side. Well, you wonder if they let down a little bit when Banks goes out. Ooh, Dieter is hit. Uh, Not ask. there. Let's as Lucchino says hello and how do you do to Kerry Dieter. Loss of five on that play. Three. Three. Dieter now minus one on three carries. Package minus five on three carries. Banks at 13 yards before he got injured. Second down, 13. The ball at the 22-yard line. Brennan <laughs> delivered that one. He took one earlier, but he delivered that play. There's no doubt about it. Josh Bryan, the quarterback. Looks over to the sideline for instructions. Seven and a half to go, first half. Islands leads it 7 nothing. Five wide again. Empty set. Man goes in motion. Peter the Too motion man, and the clock is at zeros. Too much time. Then to, to get the junior quarterback in there, hasn't played a lot at that position, and you, it takes him so long to signal those plays in, and then it's so complicated. Yep. Nick McHugh, I guess, 22 catches for 192 yards and three touchdowns, and uh, don't forget uh, Milton Banks, too. He has 20 catches for 290 yards and four touchdowns. So those are the guys he's going to be looking for. The junior quarterback pressed into action with E.J. Banks' injuries on the sideline. Trying to, he's trying to run over there, Mike. With ice on his way. Yeah, he is. Second down and 18. I wouldn't be surprised to see him back. I just have to take advantage of the mount, Mike, and they haven't done so so far. Nope. Second and 18. They can lay their ears back. They do. There There's you Doucette. Go. Right down the middle. Four brown shirts came in there and Doucette. Uh, Mike, Doucette he got, let him. I'll tell you what. He got olayed by the blocker there. That was definitely had the red cape out in the hall and let Doucette go right by. Loss of six on that play. So four rushers for Montour. Three of the four negative yards. And that's going to put him deep in the hole, Mike, ball third and 25. Ball. Got to get the ball back. Got to take advantage of the turning clock. 6.50 to go in the first half. We only lead 7 to nothing, And everything's gone our way so far. Yeah. Now they relay the plays. They go from Brian out to Peckich, out to McCune. Brian is back. Here's Devlin. Sure Devlin hits him. Spins away. Gets you know, away. In the end zone. In the end zone. Gets out of there and throws it. Incomplete. It bounces in in front of Lucchino. He tried to do the sell job, but it's incomplete. Boy, Brian narrowly escapes disaster there. Devlin, I thought was going to throw him for a loss. I thought he might have been out of bounds before he let yeah, it go. Yeah, did. You know what? I think it rolled incomplete. He's on the fourth down. Yeah, it is. It's incomplete. It's fourth down. So the Rams will get it back. Got to take advantage of this field position we've been getting, Mike. 6.26 to go, first half. And McGowan stands back in his end zone again. Sinclair and Lucchino are back to receive this one. McGowan gets the snap and boots it very, very high. Knuckleballer. Takes a Highlands bounce, yeah, though. Guys. There you go. 35-yard line. Good job by McElwain to get down there and get it. 25-yard punt. No return. First down, Highlands. 6.16 to go. First half, the Rams lead at 7-0. And again, Mike, I keep mentioning, we had to take advantage of this field position. We played basically the first half in Montour territory. We only had that one quick strike to show for the 77-yard touchdown. Into one long drive in the first quarter. 6.16 remaining in the first half. 13 play drive and we ended up having to punt and then we got the ball at the Montour 42 on our drive here in the second quarter and then Jeffrey threw the interception so Seth Edwards having that shoulder work done again Mike so the ball's at the Montour 35 and Sam Albert doesn't like what he has out they're going to take a timeout his second, second timeout for the Rams we'll take one two six sixteen to go first half seven nothing Highlands we'll be right back E.J. Banks still on the sideline with that ice bag on, Mike, and he tried to run a little bit, but uh, again, Hines has to take advantage. Every minute he's on a bench is a minute we can try to put some distance between this team, and they're hanging around here, 7 0. We got a score. So the Rams now getting their personnel groupings back out there. Edwards back out on the field, and Powell to the left. 
Looks like they're going to go with the shotgun and the two sidecars. Lucchino and Devlin. First down at the Montour 35. you got to give their defense credit. They've done a good job of containing Sinclair for the most part. Now he's going to run it this time, but they get good Nothing push out there. off yep. the right side, and he goes down for a loss back at the 37. McIlwain was back there, and so was Evan Pass, but that play is so many has been made by Beerhalter, the defensive end, 75. He's getting tremendous penetration on that Montour front. He had a good job game against us the first time, too, Mike, and uh, going to basically lose one on the play. Second down, 11. So far, Mike, the weather's held up. Yeah, but the weather's been, the weather is no rain so far. It, we're kind of awaiting it. And again, we have to take advantage of that, too. Second down, 11. Play fake. Sinclair rolling left. Looking, looking. Pumps, gets hit. Evan Good pass down. again. Now he throws it late, incomplete. Boy, he got lucky there. A lot of room out there. Mike didn't take advantage that time. It could have probably turned the corner, but it's going to make it third and ten right now. The game time temperature when we played in week two, remember what it was, Mike? Out there, it was probably 90. 92 degrees. It was warm. A little different tonight. We were out on the veranda. Yep. But not bad. 71 for a high in November. You take it. They fed us. You know what? Two weeks in a row, we've had great playoff weather. Usually by now, we're seeing snowflakes. Usually uh, this year and other years, I didn't cut my grass. I cut mine yesterday. I went golf. So did I. I did both. You know, you're younger than I. Was that Wednesday? I can't remember. That, well, oh. That's a sign you're getting old when you can't remember what day you did. Yeah, what? I know. <laughs> sign I'm getting old. I had coffee at McDonald's this morning. Third and ten. Talk about the Romeos here. Oh, they're going to run a reverse, and here comes Clark off the left side. Cuts it Nothing in. Doing there. And that might not have been the best thing to do. He gets it to the 32-yard line. and Boy, great penetration by Montour. There are lots of white shirts in the backfield right now. And Clark is hurt as Clark is rolling at the 31-yard line. And quickly, Mike Rizzo out to get a look at him. So, And, Mike, the bad news about that is Gabe Clark is a substitute for Tyler Cole. Not only is he on offense, he's our cornerback on defense. Now we're running short on wide receivers and defensive backs at this point. So we'll take a timeout. We'll check on Gabe Clark, and we'll be back. We mentioned if uh, Gabe Clark can't go, there's Tyler Cole in the walking boot. That doesn't help. I think it's cramps, though. So I think Gabe's going to be okay here. Ernest Stewart going to come out in this set. And uh, Clark going to get a little tension on the sideline there. He has their only score, 77-yard touchdown run. Fourth and pass from Sinclair. Fourth and seven at the 32. Here Fourth go the Rams down. again. Go for it. Sinclair is back. Rolling right. Here comes the push again. Sinclair just heaves at desperation. It's oh. caught and thrown oh. by Ernest Stewart at the nine-yard line. Sinclair just collapses on the field. Mike thought Ernest might have a chance to pick it up, but he couldn't do it. And Montour holds again. And really, if you look at it, another ill-advised throw. Because that could have easily been picked off, too. And all the, down, yeah, but you don't want him intercepting it. Why not? He can run it back. Well, he can also get tackled <laughs> at the 10-yard line. Yeah, it's an ill-advised <laughs> An ill-advised throw, and now all the momentum belongs to the Spartans at 4:50 to go. But the problem is they're working with a backup quarterback right now. And again, Mike, uh, look at the stats. Islands has to call timeout again because they only have 10 players on the field. They never replaced the other corner. They've used all their timeouts, and really, very fortunate to be leading 7-0 right now. We'll take a timeout too. The Rams lead at 7-0. 4:50 to go. First half. We'll be right back. A not happy Sam Albert on the Highland side of the field. You, you figured if you'd have said you get a seven-point lead with 450 to go, you'd take it, but it's, as the Stooges would say, circumstances. Yeah, things happen. Brian, the quarterback with Dieter, the motion ring, going to run a double reverse. And Milton pass Banks out is going to throw it. Banks, Sinclair, get back it. there. Come gonna on, Jeff. Oh, almost intercepted. You sure Sam Weiss didn't come up with that one? No, thanks. Sam Weiss was elected a county councilman in South Carolina on Tuesday. How about that? Everybody needs a hobby. Every, everybody's in politics these days. So Milton Banks throws one. Third different Spartan to throw a pass. And that one was a wounded duck. Second and ten. Bottas could still get the ball back with decent field position. This time pass is complete. It is to the near side of the field. It's caught by Nick McCune. Doucette brings him down at the 40-yard line. He'll be two yards short of the six. Knock him ahead about three yards on the play. Going to make it third and like he said, make a long two. By the way, I I have to mention this because it, it's, I'm contractually obligated to do so. Third and two. I'll do it in a second. 
It's Brian now on the option. Oh, they hit him boom. and down he goes at the 38-yard line. Billy Devlin. Billy Devlin with a great play. But anyway, I, I have to bring it up. Their quarterback is number 21. It's John Hato in the house. Ah, the old San Diego Charger. <laughs> John Handel. Where is he when you need him? Troy Vickers, they said, Mike, but that was Billy Devlin. That was Devlin. Oh, Vickers brushed him at first, and then Devlin came in. It's a loss of two. I'm not even going to say anything, Mike. 350 to go here before halftime, and let's see if we can get something going here. Fourth down. McGowan, the punter. Oh, they were in the short snap. Here it comes. Up the middle for a first down. He did it. As Brian was the short man, he took it right up the middle, and the Spartans, second straight week we've seen a fake punt. More importantly, though, the first down for Montour. Good for Montour. First down. Seven yard pickup. Six yards, I'm sorry. First down. Fake punt, Mike. And it worked to perfection. They, they, I don't, it was the same play that Oral Highlands tried last week. Brian back, heaves it deep, and it's incomplete. He tried to go to Milton Banks, who was double covered on the near side of the field. Blair was back there, Mike, along with uh, Gary Negley. Tyree Dudley's playing the other corner, by the way. Senior. Second down and 10 for the Spartans. Clock at 318, first half. 7-0 Highlands, but Montour with the ball at the 44-yard line. And if you're just joining us, Mike, uh, Highlands kicked to begin the game, so they get the ball to start the second half. Dave Clark testing that uh, calf on the sidelines. Banks in motion. They're going to give it to him on the end around. Ham got him, and now Locks Locks. and Vickers finish him off at the 41-yard line. Well, they're trying everything they possibly have here to try to shake somebody free, to get the ball in Milton Banks' hands, which is usually E.J. Banks' job, but with him not in there right now, it makes it a lot harder. So, Mike, that is their fifth rusher, and of the five rushers, four have negative yards. Wow. Peter minus one. Four package five minus guys, five. Yep. Brian minus two. Banks not minus three. Going to set up a third and 13. Still time for Hot. Brian is back. Stop short. Bat it up oh, in the air by Joey Locks. Joey Locks. He puts the lock on it, Mike, and it's going to be fourth down. I'm going to get the ball back one more time before the half. We had one common opponent this year, Mike. That was Pine Richard. And uh, we both beat Pine Richard. Uh, Montour, very impressive the first week. The score didn't indicate it, but they were up like 34 to nothing at 34 28. Highlands uh, beat Pine Richard 14 0, pitched the shutout. Pine Richard made it quad eight five. Tournament this year. McGowan boots it. Long punt. Sinclair calls for the fair catch and takes it at the 22 yard line. So 2.29 to go in the first half. Highlands leading at 7 0. Hit the long one, hit the big play, and that's that's been the only blood in this game. Is It's pretty much been a defensive struggle otherwise. And Mike, we said about Jeff Sinclair getting plenty of time to get a thousand yards passing and rushing this year. He has been pressured here tonight. And again, are you content to go in 7-0 at halftime? You're going to try to put something up. <laughs> and try to get out of here. <laughs> On tour has timeouts left. The Rams do not. The Rams have used all those, I think. Yep. They're not on the board here, but Remember, by our stats we anyway. We do have that one weapon, and Dave Buterball will get it close. <laughs> the turn to give to Devlin off the left side. Tries to barrel it through there. And gets a couple up to the 25-yard line. That's about it. And Beerholter down there at the bottom again, also for the Spartans. Those was gaping holes early, Mike, aren't so gaping now. No, nope. Petros Giorgelis was down there, too. I can say it now, so I wanted to get it in there. <laughs> well, he did his job. You did your job. Second down and seven for the Rams. 19 yards for Devlin only on six carries. It's been tough to come by tonight. And like the times we were down there, we put, uh, we shot ourselves in the foot with penalties. Devlin again. Devlin cuts through the middle this time. Makes it's a good He's up over the 35, 40, 45. Chased down at the 50. And dragged down at the 47-yard line of Montour. As finally down there to get him was Evan Pass. But they opened up a crack off the left side that time. And Devlin went right through it. 28 yards on that play for Billy. First down hot. It's Mike again. No timeouts here. 141 to go. They're going to set the chains. And again, 
Maybe we can get a position for Dave to take a kick here. He's down there kicking now, Mike. Good news on that play was that he went out of bounds and stopped the clock. And yeah, like the clock's rolling. He was not out of bounds. Really? Yep. Wow, I'm surprised about that. I thought he was out of bounds. First down at the 47. <laughs> Lucchino shakes one man and now gets some yards. Get He's inside the 40. First down of the 33-yard line. 14 for Brendan. He now has five rushes with 34 yards. They're going to move to change. And again, we have to go quick here, Mike. Camp comes out. Duchette goes in at the guard. Frank and the clock, Mike. 160 on turning clock. Lots of time. 33 yard line. Remember, the Rams don't have any timeouts right now, but yeah, they're, well. they're okay with time. From the gun, or the uh, bone, and it's Lucchino again off the left side. A little help from Devlin, and Lucchino steps out of bounds at the 29 yard line. He ran over him and passed that time. And gain of about four and stops the clock at 50. 59 seconds and it's second and six. And now if you wind it all the way down to the end, it doesn't matter how far the field goal is about any craziness. You just give it a shot if you have the chance. Boy, my Kevin had two score lead would be very important. Really like to take one shot at the end zone too. Be down this close. We've been here all night. Yeah, we've been down here. The winner of this one gets Blackhawk Mars winner. We have uh, Highlands has experience with both playing Mars this year and Blackhawk last year in the playoffs. Up at Blackhawk. Four wide. Short drop and it's oh, batted down oh, again. Baby. It's Beer Halter again who spent all day in the Highlands backfield. Might as well get him a brown shirt. It's third down. It's clear last three passes incomplete. He's three out of nine for 90 yards. And the one was intercepted. Yep. So that'll bring up a third down and six. Interesting here, if you run the ball and you don't make it, you have to run the field goal team out there and do it right. without a timeout, but there's plenty of time left in the half. Sinclair straight back out of the shotgun. Fires it all and wow, caught it. He's short of the first and down and in bounds. You can't spike it. Yep. That's where you got to know what you're doing out there, Mike. Give him how many on that? Well, I think you're going to go for this one at the 25 yard line. I would kick it. We have plenty of time. The player gets it. Doesn't he get does. out of bounds, though. Let's see where they mark it. They are white. They're going to move the sticks anyway. The ball's at the 21. He could spike it now, 28 seconds. Hell yeah, what? Make the spike and go to the end zone, then go. Why would we want to spike it here? We got a timeout before. Let's see what they get. Did Mods work all timeout? Thank them very much. Yeah, that's great. Thank them very, very yeah. much. We get two more shots this way, right? Maybe you more. get all of them. <laughs> 26 seconds. Remember, you only need one second for the last play. How many did you get piling at uh, when he came up short on? He got third? four yards. And five. Five. 95 and then, now for Sinclair. Passing. Yeah. 50 on the ground for Jeff. Lucchino has 38. Devlin has 48. And Hottens leads to a 7 to nothing. Like, if I would give you those statistics, what do you hear the halftime statistics on the rushing? You think Hottens would be up 34 tonight? <laughs> well, the defense has played very, very well tonight, as they have in the past couple weeks. And that's why you, you think it might be so important to get up by two scores. You get you get you got the all-star quarterback lame over there right now and that we don't know if he's coming back or not. Well, judging by the fact that they're holding his jersey and he's on crutches, I'm going to say not. Wow. Um, so, not that Josh Bryan's done a bad job. He hasn't, but he's not E.J. Banks. And, and that makes a difference. So it's first down. The spike is revoked because Montour called timeout. And that really helped the Rams in a big way. That gives them an extra play. Let's see what they're going to do with it. We have trips to the right. They have a play to Lakino here, Mike, over the middle. Let's see if they try to run this. Sinclair is back, looking. Sideline, and Powell has it. Powell stays in bounds. What's he doing? He's down to the four-yard line. It's first down. They're going to have to spike it now, Dean. They're going to have to. you got to get out of bounds. Yeah, he does. That's first-year football player, Mike. So the gain is down to the four. 
Okay, They're going to mark it ready for play, and Sinclair is going to get up under center and spike it. He does. It'll be second down and goal at the four-yard line at 16 seconds. We can take a couple more shots at the end zone. Well, you got to, yeah. I mean, you got to take at least one more shot here. You don't have enough time to get tackled in the field and get the field goal team out because you couldn't spike it again. It'll be here. Jeff, no, it'll 112 be four yards down. passing. He's hit uh, Dylan Powell in the last three. Mikey, you were a prognosticator because last night in your talk show you said Dylan Powell would be a key to today's game. I thought that that might be a possibility because he didn't do a whole lot the first time that they played. And if you remember, he had eight catches a game before, so we thought they gave him a little extra special attention, Montour did. Yeah. He didn't get many passes. After that uh, stirring talk show, I went out to practice last night and found Dylan Powell in an ice bucket because Perfect. he turned his ankle. And I told him you said he was a key. Three seconds left on the play clock. Sinclair takes it to the left. Hits to the corner, dives, and gets thrown out of bounds. Okay, we still got another Good play. news for Highlands. He gets thrown out of bounds at the one. 11 seconds to go. The Rams will get their third down play. Now, if they run and don't make it, they can't get the field goal team out there. Yep. But they have one more shot here. Well, I tell you what, my gutty play to run that ball, that's for sure. Where are they going to put it at the one foot line, Mike? One foot line. Come on, guys, knock this in. We've got to get this in. They're going to the shotgun here, Mike. I'm really surprised. Oh, he's going to run it. Third and goal. Sinclair runs left behind that yes. touchdown. Yes, yes, yes. Jeff Sinclair and Mike. What a weird night. It has been a weird night here. 78 yard drive for Highlands. And we were talking about just running the clock out. Yep. He completed only two passes on the drive, both to Dylan Powell. The rest of it was runs. Devlin with a big 28 yard run that was, was the, the key. key to the drive. Yep. The Rams lead it 13 0 with eight seconds left first half. And Lenoski will hold it for Bruderbaugh at the post to our right. It's on the tee. The kick is up there. And it is no good. It's wide to the left. Bruderbaugh misses only his third extra point of the year. And at eight seconds left first half, the Rams lead it 13 0. Does the kick this, Mike? I think that's probably a good idea right now, yeah. Don't give them any opportunity to run it back. They got to get into the locker room and regroup too because it doesn't look like Banks is going to play anymore. Yeah, my God. He's had a lot of injuries, though. He's been beat up all year long. He didn't start on defense tonight because of the pre-existing condition. Cheerleaders on the sideline, Mike, they did a great thing uh, today. Uh, they came and met the boys before they got on the bus, gave them a nice cheer. Uh, they decorated the locker rooms, uh, put the, uh, some snacks for the kids, helped decorate. Great, uh, all along Freeport Road, Mike signs out supporting the Golden Rams. And if you're listening out there, and we do get to play next week, anybody stick out a sign supporting the Golden Rams. We don't know which direction we're going to go to, but uh, as soon as you figure it out, get a sign on your front lawn, support the Golden Rams. All you businesses out there, let's get some signs out too. Again, if we play Blackhawk, it probably send us to Ambridge. Been a great year, <laughs> and again, just yeah. like I said, it can continue, Mike. Two more rungs on the ladder to get the Heinz Field. This is a big step here tonight, leading 13 and nothing. Milton Banks is the deep man. He Jay's cousin is back in the middle, but I think if the Rams had their way, it won't get that far. They probably want to kick it to McGowan right in the middle. Buderbaugh approaches and does squib it. It goes past McGowan. Nice job there. And it comes over. Bumble. Peckett, she has trouble with it. Always picks it up. Gets hit, gets past the wave, and gets dropped nicely as Pedro Garcia comes in to drop him with two seconds left in the first half. They get one more shot, Mike, to go deep. and uh, They took us a couple times last week, Mike. Uh, last time we played, and they tried to go deep. In fact, remember, that Hail Mary play almost completed. The guy dropped it in the end zone. So they get one play at two, so yeah. And Jeff Sinclair back at the 50-yard line, Mike. Keep everything in front of him. So. Now, this is odd. Brian's up over the center. They take, take a knee. A knee. Interesting. So Lucero is going to want to go to the locker room and see if he can regroup. In a weird first half at Plum High School tonight, but so far so good. As Highlands at halftime, as you see Sam Albert having a discussion with one of the officials. The halftime score here tonight. Highlands 13, Montour nothing. We'll be back with the second half right after this. Second half about to begin. You see the signs. Cheerleaders did a great job putting all those together. You mentioned all the decorations and oh, whatever. They've, they've, done a they've, great they've, job. they've thrown a curveball at us. It's raining, by the way. It's coming down pretty good now. 
and they're uh, not they're they're going away from the captains and they're just going to kick it off here interesting and let's take a look at the first half stats quickly Mike we'll have to probably wait till the kick guy uh, I'll start with the first downs Hines had nine one tour only had four again Hines going to get possession to start the second half here leading 13 to nothing Andrew Crail will kick off Hines first time getting the ball night on a kick <laughs> and he kicks it with a thud and it's Tyrell Dudley at the 15, out over the 20, the 25, spinning, turning to the 30-yard line as he's thrown back there. He's thrown down by Derek Schneider, the junior, number one. Good. Okay, Mike, rushing high. It's 139 yards. I mentioned Montour didn't have much. Five yards positive rushing. Passing high. It's one. 12, Montour 59, total yards Hodgins 251, Montour 64, third down conversion Hodgins 5 of 10, Montour 0 for 6, penalties Hodgins 4 for 40, penalties 2 for 10 for Montour, one turner for Hodgins, none for Montour, time possession 13 44 Hodgins, 10 16 Montour, we converted two out of three fourth downs, they converted their only one. Dylan Piles puts to the left. They go from the bone on first down, and they give us the Devlin off the right side. Follows a block by Lucchino. Nice. Good block by, by Edwards. Edwards. And look at Devlin barreling up over the 40 to the 41-yard line. Tackled by Aaron McGee. But a good start by Billy Devlin as the Rams run the ball at first down. And I got a feeling with a two-score lead now that you may see a lot of that as the conditions start to worsen also. Number one thing right now, Mike, is come out here healthy. Uh, Halftime score, Blackhawk leading 20 to nothing over Mars, Mike. So it looks like uh, whoever wins this game will be seeing Mars in the semi, I mean, Blackhawk in the semifinals if they defeat Mars. Mars, by the way, great job this year. Coming up from double A, makes the conference uh, playoffs and wins their first game. Devlin gets 10, 57 yards for Devlin on eight carries. First down at the 41 yard line. Sinclair turns, this is Lucchino left this time, but there is Beerhalter, but look at Lucchino, he fights ahead and gets a couple. Didn't look like he was going to get any. He left uh, Mike Tyrone, the senior end, in his wake as he ran by him. By the way, E.J. Banks came back on the field in the second half out of uniform with his letterman's jacket on, ice bag on the knee, on crutches. Looks like he's done. What a tough way to end your senior career, Mike. And again, he is the Montour offense. We said 75% uh, of the offense is based on E.J. Banks. And so uh, young Mr. Josh Bryan will have to set in, step in. He had a decent first half. He had three out of five. Worst, worst week ever for Charlie Weiss. <laughs> yep, yeah, not going to help. No. And Sinclair following Lucchino. Here he comes up over the 50 to 45, breaks a tackle. He's at the 40 Ooh, and now there, down. There, there should be a flag there. Mike. What, for tackling him? No, for throwing him down. <laughs> he tackled yeah, him. Okay. <laughs> you watch the replay. Six and 14, 20 yards for Sinclair. Yep. Up to 74 yards now rushing and 11 carries. And again, Mike, my main concern is getting everybody out of here healthy. Now, ain't that the truth. And I thought... Uh, Mr. Banks was a little extra curricular there, but you tend to think not. No. Football. Take what you can get, I guess. And get a shot, take it. First down at the 36 in the turn, and he gives it to Devlin. Devlin off the right side. They grab some jersey and throw him down from behind. Good job that time by Petrus Giorgelis, the nose guard, grabbing the back of those threes and dragging Billy down. Again, yeah, Mike, Jeff Sinclair in the first game scored three touchdowns. They had two interceptions. Tonight he's thrown for one and ran for one. So Jeff Sinclair has done a great job. He threw for 101 yards in game one. Right now he's at 112. Second down and 11. The clock. Good news, Gabe Clark back out there. That is good. But like you said, this is definite territory. You're trying to keep everybody healthy if you can move on. Off the left side, this is Sinclair. Puts the shoulder down and gets it to the 31-yard line. Spins out of bounds down there as uh, Aaron McGee was down there. And more and more defensive backs making tackles from on tour. Stuff you like to hear. And again, the lead block, he's been excellent tonight. Devlin, that time it was Lakino. Doing a nice job for the Golden Ram. Third and a very long three. Islands leads it 13 to nothing. 9.25 to go here in the third quarter. The Rams trying to move on and looks like it might be Blackhawk again. We tried that last year, didn't we? Here's the Sinclair off the shotgun snap, runs over a man, gets a first down all the way to the 20-yard line. He ran McGee over that time. I have Sinclair now, 13 rushes, 91 yards. He's already over the 100-yard mark passing. And again, 
Jeff Sinclair keeps the drive alive. First down at the 20. The Rams took this ball at their own 31-yard line and on six runs are already to the Montour 20. Not a whole lot of uh, not a whole lot of deception going on here. And to give is to Lucchino. Big hole. Crack. Inside the 15. He carries men with him as he gets down to the 11-yard line. Long big holes over left side. You know who's over there, Mike. Big Nate Hargraves. And that's where they went that time. Hargraves. Ham. Mame. Garrett. And Brunyan. The offensive line doing another great job here this evening. Lucchino now 49 yards on eight carries. How about that? We'll be approaching highs for his career. Uh, biggest season. effort of yes. the year. He came in with 180 yards on the ground, but this might be, it's definitely, it looks like his biggest night average wise. Second down and one. The ball's at the 11 yard line. The Rams cranking four minutes off the clock. And Sinclair off the right side cuts inside the 10, inside the six yard line. It's first down, Highlands. First and goal is dragging him down with Gio Jealous again, but Highlands will have a first and goal at the Montour six. 14 rushes now for 97. Jeff closing it at 100 yard mark again. Big Mike to knock one in here, get up three scores. Oh, it would be, especially with Montour without EJ Banks. And it almost, you almost wonder about how interested they look to come out here in the second half, to be perfectly honest with you. It's, it's raining, there's stars on the sideline, they're down by two touchdowns. Maybe three here in a second. Yep. Hines has a first and goal with the five. Sinclair out the left side, follows Devlin, Not but gets hit around time. the ankles. Good job by Pass. Evan Pass again, who's had a great game in linebacker tonight. Hits Sinclair for no gain. And scraping off the back side that time, Mike, and Jeff Sinclair looking like, uh, where'd that guy come from? <laughs> this will be the 10th play of the drive for Highlands. 7.20 to go, third quarter. <laughs> I see our mascot down there, Mike, Brady Wagner, but he's not on the unicycle yet. It, it, it might be too dangerous, with the, or that might be some sort of a regulation. I don't know, maybe the, maybe the wetness. The rain is falling pretty steadily here as we start the third quarter. Sinclair is back. Slant to Powell. He pulls it in at the two-yard line. Kenny Wood called that play at halftime. Mike, I didn't think he got that pass in there. He fit it in there nicely. Unbelievable. <laughs> Kenny was right on that. Where's that slant to Dylan, he says. Three in a row to Dylan Powell now. Four. Four. That's right. Near three. We're going to give him four on that one. Four yards. 116 now passing. And you're right, Dylan Powell has receptions of eight, five, 17, and four yards. 35 yards on four receptions for Dylan. His biggest game was the first game at Fox Chapel. Barely now in Sinclair barrels behind Is the he in? left side of the line and touchdown Highlands. What a great drive for the Rams. An 11 play drive that traveled 69 yards. Most importantly, Mike, I'm counting people as they stand up, make sure everybody's okay. And Jeff Sinclair does it again, this time two yards out, and that puts him at 99 yards on the evening, 16 carries. 20th rushing touchdown of the season for Jeff Sinclair. That's 2-0. The ball is down. Buterbaugh's kick is up, and this one is good. 6.25 to go, third quarter. Your new score, Highlands 20. Montour nothing, timeout. We'll be right back. There you see Mike behind number one. Derek Schneider on crutches and his varsity jack with an ice bag around his knee is E.J. Banks. He's done for the evening, Mike. And maybe his career, if he's done, if Montour doesn't make a stirring comeback here, that's going to be it for him. He'll, a great career, but and he had a great year, um, really, with, with this Montour team. And and you, and you stack up Sinclair's numbers next to his, and there's no comparison. Yeah, that's true. Isn't it's it's unbelievable. It, the, the year that Sinclair's had for this team. Here's Buderbaugh kicking nice it high. And high kick. It is. This is Milton at the 10, the 15. Here comes Dylan Leslie chasing oh, him behind. down at the 19-yard line. Dylan Leslie, nice job by Dylan that time. Well, I'll tell you what, guys, it's gotten noticeably colder since the rain started. Either that or I'm getting the flu. I don't know. I hope it's uh, colder. <laughs> I think it is, too. I think so. It's all my fault. I didn't bring a jacket or I'm I, I it have my jacket. It's back here someplace in the spacious press box here at Plum. Yeah. I'll tell you what, the folks here have been Double terrific. Decker. Oh, they've been great. Bob Alpino, the AD. 
thanks to him for all his help. So here go the Spartans at the 19-yard line, and let's see if the Rams can continue that. Now they're going to run Pekic out of quarterback, but nothing doing. Pekic is dropped way back at the 15-yard line by Devlin. Well, not all stop, Mike. And yeah. Peckage minus yards, Mike. And again, they only had five rushing yards at halftime. Peckage now four rushes minus nine yards. Dieters has some outstanding games, 100 yard games. He gets three rushes, only minus one yard. So we shut down the running game. Montour now one yard rushing tonight. Peckage is the quarterback. Keeps it again, runs up the middle, up over the 14 yard line. That's all as getting up from the bottom of the pile for Highlands is Joe Locks, and he's been big tonight. Ernest Stewart was back there, too. Vickers also in on a stop. No gain. Boy, they keep trying different people. Three. And really, Dean, I didn't think that... Uh, uh, Brian did a bad job, and three or five. Surprised they've made the change here, but Peckich, number 22, the junior is in there. He's back, looking, gonna heave it deep down the sideline, gonna be caught by Milton Banks. Great, Great catch, catch at the 42-yard line in front of Negley, and Sinclair was there too into double coverage. 27 yards on a completion, and that's our fourth person to run the ball tonight, Mike. That's amazing. I don't have any room for all that. <laughs> I don't. Know. Oh, got to make space down here. I'm doing it here. Package number 22. Who's your famous 22 quarterback, Mike? Flutie. There you go. 27 on that play. That's it. First and 10. And Peckett's going to just try to run it up. He's going to try to run it around. Oh, he got the back. Red drill, but no, it's Vickers. Vickers back at the 40-yard line. Goes wow. The area. He loves a straight back, I'll tell you that. Troy Vickers is going to knock him back for a two-yard loss on the play now. Now what do we got? We're going to... The officials have called timeout. They're coming over to the sideline here. And Peckage is coming out, Mike. He's a, he's a Tom, Tom Shirey is helping out the official on the near side of the field with something. The officials, it's an official timeout. Now they're going to wind the clock. Here they go. No, getting, okay. Okay. Back in, Brian, yeah, because I think Peckage got shook up. Yeah, Peckage got hit for a two-yard loss there. And they're in minus territory now, Russian. What a defensive This has been terrific like tonight, no question. Tonight. I'll tell you what, they did a great job against him the first time. With Banks in there. Brian is back. Going to try it again. Milton Banks, incomplete. Good job by Negley to get up there that time. Boy, Sinclair, every time he sees that ball goes up, go up, is over there helping out on that side of the field with, with uh, Gary Negley. Gabe Clark is back, as the dean mentioned. He went out earlier. Banks is a handful, like six foot one ninety senior, and to tell you what, uh, he's giving Negley all he can handle over there. Negley's making the challenge. First game, Milton Banks had four receptions for forty-two yards. Third down and twelve, four fifteen to go. Third quarter, the Rams lead it twenty to nothing. And Brian is back. Uh -oh. Here they come. Brian gets out of there though. He's going to throw deep. He's got a man. It's caught. This is Burko. He's at the fifteen. Burko at the ten. At the five. And Burko is finally dropped. Finally, at the seven yard line as Burko got behind the defense. Billy Devlin tattooed Brian, and how he got away from him, Mike, is beyond me. Fifty-three yards. And we just said Milton Banks. Great receiver, and he shut it there, Mike. So that's Tom Burko's first catch. Oh, it's Burko wasn't back. Mm -hmm. Burko number two. You're right. Josh Bryan, 84 yards passing that, Mike. First and goal at the three-yard line. Bryan is back. Rolling to the right, Lucchino chases, and Locks gets him at about the eight-yard line. Balls loose. Let's it's see. a fumble. Let's see. He's going to come out of there with it. Let's get a tight shot. Locks has the ball. Joe Locks yeah, has Joey the ball. There's, has a, the there's a big discussion. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, has it. Joe Locks made the tackle and came up with the football all in the same motion. Beautiful job. He's having a Joey game Locks. of his life tonight. He sure is. And I'll bet I'm going to get a call. Mrs. Locks orders the tape on an as need basis. <laughs> so I think I'll get my call. Let's get this one. <laughs> so first turnover for Montour tonight, and Joe Locks just took the ball away from Brian. Good job, Joey. 
So Highlands with 3.51 to go in the third quarter. Just when you thought he were going to break through, Mike, Locks comes up with a fumble recovery. He get, that was a yard loss on the play, too. He gets a sack, too. How about that? Sack, force, fumble, fumble, recovered. Whoa. Now what do we got? That's Highlands taking ball. a timeout. They might not have correct personnel. They do. 3.51 remaining here in this third quarter. We'll take a quick timeout. It's Highlands 20, Montour nothing. We'll be right back. Highlands now at their own eight-yard line and bark on a 92-yard drive to seal this. Four sacks tonight already, Mike. I'll tell you what, the defensive performance has been outstanding. Montour's minus rushing, Dean. That's great. From the eight-yard line. Oh, a little with problem with the handoff, and Devlin's hit for a loss. Back at the five-yard line as Sinclair and Devlin ran into each other. Big beer halter was back there for Montour, and also making the play was Dan McMurtry, number 55. Devlin's 10th carry of the evening, going to take minus yards on that. Now it's 54 yards. Lakino, 8 rushes, 49 yards. Jeff Sinclair, 16 rushes, 99. Mike, going to get him one more. Highlands looking to embark on their first trip to the semifinals since 2001 when they fell to West Allegheny, the eventual champion. And it gives the Devlin, and here he comes, up over the 10, the 15, like a first bowling down. ball, all the way to the 21-yard line, first down. 16 for Billy, now it's 70 on 11. 14 Highlands first downs tonight. First down for the Rams, and running the ball pretty much at will here in the second half. Clock winding, they'll snap this one with less than three minutes to go, third quarter is a... Steady drizzle looks like it's come to an end. Don't I see anything out there now. Got doubleheader trivia for you tonight, Mike. Cool. From the wishbone. And they give. Uh -oh, what a flag, flag down as Devlin is hit and dropped. Hey, but while we get a chance, uh, we're waiting on this penalty. Let's see what they call first. That's holding against the Rams. Holding against Hines. They don't happen very often. Get a shot of the yard marker guy, Boone. See the guy in the hood there, all yellow, Mike? There he is. We've got to get him to turn a look. There he is, Frank Furco. <laughs> on cue. <laughs> if you don't know Frank from that picture, he'd show you another picture. Who would be with him, Mike? The cat. What's his name? I can't remember. Pudgy Wudgy. Yeah. Everybody remembers Pudgy Wudgy. Nobody remembers Frank. He scolded you, by the way, as soon as you walked he in did. the first box. He did. You, <laughs> you interviewed Frank back at our pet telethon like a million years ago at Comcast. You interviewed Pudgy Wudgy, too, which I thought was impressive because you got Pudgy Wudgy to answer. That's right. Here we go. High now first and 20. First and 20 from the wishbone. Sinclair play action is back. Oh, Over the middle. Man. It's caught by Dylan Powell. Fumbled. He should be down. They call it incomplete. Once again, a deep slant they run that time. That was more of a post to Powell, and it's incomplete. It's going to be second and 20. I thought he actually started to run with it, Mike. I thought it was a catch. I thought it was a catch, and then he was down when his knee hit. Could have been. Sam Albert should th throw the red flag. There you go. Anyways, Just I got more people telling me they saw that pet mm. telephone than any sporting I know event it. I've ever done. We had a lot of raised a lot of money for the animal shelter that year. And Bob, and I, Bob and I hosted. I felt like Jerry Lewis that day. <laughs> <laughs> I, well, don't, you, don't you remember my stirring rendition of "You'll Never Walk Alone" at the end? We, get, we got some great prizes that day. Remember, <laughs> second and twenty. There was some great golf clubs. I remember that. And Once Sinclair deep is again, back. Same play. Going deep. This Edwards. is Edwards. Oh. Drops it at the fifty-yard oh. line. He, he beat, had his man beat there. He absolutely did. He Josh beat Brophy. Josh Brophy like a government mule. Third and 20. Could have made a fair catch on that one. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff gets it there. There's no question about that. No doubting arm strength in this case. Two in a row on the money. Mike, it smells like rain. It, it like it's that smell that you get. In the, it's, it does. Right before it's going to ram a clod burst. I hope not. No, it's it's the it's that smell of the rain hitting the warm asphalt. So that's what it is. See, like in, in flyover country, they don't get that. Third and 20. Well, I tell you what, we've loaded up twice. Mike, can do it again? Yeah, it's coming down harder now. Sinclair is back. Here time. comes Beerhalter. He gets away from him. Yeah, now down. he gets out of there, get down, gets hit, get down, get down. and down he goes. He's sacked back at the eight-yard line. Good defensive stand for Montour, but that drive was stopped by the holding penalty. 97 yards now. Back the truck up in reverse. 
Wow. So it's fourth down. George Beerhalter is one heck of a high school football player. I was gonna go I'll tell you what, it, that kid, I hope, it, he better make all Parkway when it, when it comes out in the, in the Post Gazette on Thanksgiving Day. 134 now. Shoemaker only his second punt from his end zone, too. Good snap, and he boots it. Coming out of their end over end. Banks comes up at the 40. 35, he's going to get ahead of steam up over the 30 and down to the 25-yard line. Tackled down there by Troy Vickers. So Milton Banks runs it back. Good field position. Montour still with a chance. 118 to go. Great field position, but they got to punch this one in. And again, Mike, the Golden Ram defense is stiffened every time they've had a chance to knock it in. Let's see if they can do it one more time. Mike, we get this thing into the fourth quarter. Head 20 to nothing. We're in pretty good shape. Blackhawk leading by the identical score. Package is back in at quarterback for the Spartans. Highlands won the first meeting, 20 to 12. This is Nick McCune on the end around after they held Clayton Ham. <laughs> and McCune battling oh, through there, look at him go, he will not go down. And McCune gets a rise from the crowd across the way as he takes it down to the 17 yard line. Pick up of eight. That was the most determined eight-yard run I think I've ever seen. Second down a couple. Nick McHugh becomes one of the few rushers for Montour. Yeah, plus territory. Plus territory. Dieter is the setback. And they're going to try Milton Banks this time around the left side. Cuts it through the middle. Banks to the 10. Banks into the end zone. Banks gets on the board. 16 yards right up the gut. Don't turn off those TV sets yet. 17 yards. They drive it 25 yards in two plays. And really, you, you go all the way. You go back to that holding penalty. Set it all up. And we haven't had many of them, Mike. We've had five no. penalties now for 50 yards. <laughs> The Notre Dame fight song. Oh, Milton Banks with a 17-yard touchdown run, and Andrew Crail is on to try the extra point. They've had all kinds of trouble with these this year. Is that in run of E.J. Banks? There's the kick. It's on its way, and it is good. Crail boots the extra point. 29 seconds to go here in the third quarter. It's Highlands 20, Montour 7. Be right back. Kenny's out there. Kenny's the second play of the evening. No, actually, you know what? They got him on punt return for some odd reason. How about that? <laughs> when did we come back? When I said, go ahead, boom. Okay. <laughs> you know, we've only been doing it for how many years? <laughs> the, those, those that was truly a Mike and Mike moment, John said. That really was. <laughs> so, Just want to give you guys some insight into what we talk about when we're not on. Second. Crail will kick it. We're looking, we're said, watch for the funky kickoff now. Let's see if yeah. they do it. No, he yeah. boots it. Gets a foot into it and kicks it. Down to Tyrell Dudley at the 15-yard line. Out over the 20, 25, throw a hole. He's at the 35, the 40, and dragged down at the 45-yard line as Nick McCune might have saved a touchdown. Great return by Tyrell of 30 yards up to the 45-yard line. Again, Tyrell Dudley, Mike. Which is motto, if I can slot over 60 yards, I don't run them in. Pretty much it, huh? So <laughs> Highlands with good field position. They have a 20 to 7 lead. 22 seconds left of the third quarter. They'll run one play here, and that'll be the end of that. And then we'll switch sides and try to hold on. The Rams try to make it to the semifinals. Doubleheader trivia coming. And they'll be one step from Heinz Field. Sinclair. Oh, oh what great time. push that time. And that was Gier Jealous who pushed two blockers back into the backfield and made the play. And Jeff, Mike, he got up to 99 yards. Now he's at 92. The last two yards, two rushes, been negative yardage. And that's going to be the end of the quarter, Mike. Highland leading here 20 to 7. That was a 7 7 stalemate in that quarter. Well, Highlands did score first. They had that nice drive. And everybody on their feet get a shot of the crowd there. We have a great crowd here tonight support the Golden Rams. The Bronot in effect. And again, Mike, we've got 12 more minutes and we're headed to the semifinals for the first time since West Allegheny Day. That is correct. 2001. So you got trivia. Let's go. Okay, I got two of them for you, Mike. Doubleheader trivia. Doubleheader trivia. It's a bonus for you folks during playoffs. Yes. Conference uh, tournament started last week. Uh huh. And one team 
won. Why did they win? They won their 400th game in the process. What was it? Team? They won their 400th game in the process. Mike, look at through all the brackets. I've got my brackets in front of me. They're a lot. They're here. I have, I have no idea who that would be. I would say Jeanette. Triple A. Triple A won their 400th game. Highlands. Nope. Darn it. We're just in a 200 range, right? Yeah. Uh, Hopewell. Nope. I'm running out. Newcastle. Nope. In our conference. In our conference. Indiana? The Indiana Indians. Wow. Right. There's our cheerleader. Did a great job again here. When you ask me. questions like that, you always look for somebody that hasn't merged. That's correct. Because those are always the tough ones right there. Our offense being greeted here, Mike, as we begin the fourth quarter. I got another one for you. I'll, I'll get it in. We'll tuck it in. Second down, 13. Islands, as they'll go from the gun now, we start the fourth quarter. They lead it by 13 points, but Montour with a little momentum. Scoring that touchdown with a short field. Sinclair is back. Getting looking, rushed. trying to throw a screen, but they got him, and down he goes at the 28-yard line. Number six, Aaron McGee, Mike. Rough trade that time. 14-yard loss on that play. They tried to the throw back screen. So that's going to set up a third down and Penn Hills. Third and 26. Is that a minus 14, Mike? Third, 13, 13, I guess. 13, I'm taking to take some clear back to 79 yards rushing now. And boy, do I have to jinx it by saying he hasn't been sacked, huh? Uh-huh. Well, we got to report the facts, though, Mike. That's facts so are. true. They, they have to get to the 45 of Montour. Here comes Sinclair everybody. back. Here comes the Czar's army, Not and they one. got him again. Another Down below, Gier Jealous one more time. And also the Spartans had 66, Josh Babjack, and their defensive line doing the job on that series. The Rams marched backwards. Jeff Sinclair has his helmet off, Mike. Not a happy camper. And again, don't want to get this team riled up. Fourth sure. and 30. They have plenty of time. They're only down by 13. They're putting them nicely to sleep here. Shoemaker into punt. Banks is back with Burko. Two dangerous guys. We've seen reverses and fake punts. High snap. But good job by Shoe to get it. But he kicks a bad one off the side of his foot. It's going to be a out of bounds at the 48-yard line. Only a 23-yard punt. And again, Montour and Island's territory. And you feel the momentum. Yep, we have to go to work on defense, Mike. Nobody's giving us this one, that's for sure. You get this far, Mike, there's no quit left in teams. And by the way, second trivia question. Is this the first time that Sam Albert and Lou Serra have met in the playoffs? How about Freeport Seat and LaSalle? Freeport Seat and LaSalle is correct, 2002. Who won? Freeport? Freeport had an old game loss 28-21. Yeah. Let's not see a repeat performance here. And Peckage is back. Peckage throws Wide it down open. the sideline. It's caught. And that's going to be a Montour touchdown to Tom Burko. 47 yards. And all of a sudden, here comes Montour, Mike. A lot of momentum. 47 yards on that play. Peckage to Burko. Don't count your chicken yet. Montour saw Blackhawk make a stunning comeback against them. They were three touchdowns ahead of Blackhawk, and they came back to beat them earlier this year. And they're trying to turn the tables on that one. 47 yards. Peckich is two for two for 74 yards. Kind of a weird story there, huh, Mike? Here's the kick on the way by Andrew Crail, and it is good. And not only, Dean, is it 20 to 14, but you look back at that missed extra point that Islands had, and that makes it even worse. Yep. Again, on his office, man, to go back to work here, Mike. Burko from Peckett. And again, that extra point, like you said, Andrew Crail converted. That's two touchdowns in a row for Montour. Vickers coming gimping off the field now to the near side. But Montour has scored two touchdowns in less than two minutes. When it looked like Highlands had this one pretty much put away. But uh-uh, not so fast, my friend. Not in high school football, Mike. And the Spartans have cut it to a six-point lead and tons of time left. 
10 minutes and 16 seconds. One play drive, 47 yards, and they are just loading up and throwing it deep on the Highlands corners and just trying to beat them. And Mike, they did have success against us deep in that first game. We dropped a couple balls, but uh, and then Hal Marion and Milk Banks dropped one at that time. Perfect pass, perfect catch, six quick ones. I just got to go to work, sustain a drive, Mike. Burko, two catches and 103 yards. Crail kicks a line driver. Tyrell Dudley goes back to get it at the five yard line. Over the 10, the 15, he's going nowhere as Banks was in there to get him and drills him at the 20 yard line. Somebody's down there injured, Mike. Another player down for the Rams. <laughs> That's Choma. Uh -oh. And he's going to need to be looked at. They quickly run out there to take a look at him. We'll do that too. We'll take a timeout with 10-11 to go. 20-14 to 14 Highlands. We'll be back. All right, the Rams will start first and 10 at their own 20. Kenny Choma came off the field with a little help. He looked a little groggy, but I think he's all right. We need a first down here, like very bad. Devlin, no. G or jealous again. <laughs> Vickers Wait. also on the sidelines getting worked on Mike, his ankle, and uh, momentum is two a guys done. That's right. Momentum is a funny thing. Not ha-ha funny, but peculiar funny. Yep. All right, strap it up here, Mike. And it all belongs to the guys in the white shirts right now. Second and ten from the 20-yard line. Sinclair, short drop, fires out here to the near far side of the field. It is caught. Edwards down to the turf, pulls it in. They're setting up a hitch and go right there. That's all that was. That's the first time you've seen that play this year. <laughs> Edwards pulls it in and gets about seven yards. Third down and three. 133 yards now passing for Sinclair. First catch by Seth tonight. Third and three, what a huge play. Clock winding, less than nine Very minutes good. to go. Big, big play, Mike. Highlands 20, Montour 14, the fans across the way are up. Yep, they've been quiet all night, Mike. Now they're roaring. Sinclair gonna keep it, try to get to the left. Cuts it, but they got him. They got him, he gets only one as he's dropped at the 28 yard line. Once again, Evan Pass makes the stop. The Rams have to punt and all the momentum belongs to the Spartans right now. Highlands now will kick the ball, Mike. Golden Rams are on their heels. What looked like was a cigar, 20 to nothing. Now it's become a 20 to 14. Battle. The last seven times Sinclair has touched the ball, he's minus 20. Yeah, they backed him up pretty fast. Now we have a timeout. Is this Montour calling it? I think it is. Let's see. Timeout Montour is right, Mike. They had 12 players on the field. It was a good reason to call it. 8-10 remaining and here in the fourth quarter. I hope that's a timeout they're going to need down the road that they don't have, Mike. Of course, I'd like to not even make that a factor, but boy, oh boy, I tell you what, momentum shift here so quickly. And they, it, you know, they had that big strike capacity. We've seen them do it. And uh, E.J. Banks not playing since 6.41 of the first quarter, huh, Mike? That's it. Josh Bryan has come in in relief, completed four out of eight for 86 yards, and then Phil Peckich has been running there, two out of two for 74 yards, including the long touchdown pass to uh, Burko. Banks ran a long one in from 17 yards. Well, the Rams look like they had it all in control uh, in the third quarter. They made a first down on a 16-yard run by Devlin. There was three minutes to go in the third quarter, and then they had that holding penalty. And that's really what turned it all around. High snap, here they come, but good job that time by Shoemaker to get it out of there. Get on it. Rams need to get on it, Vickers does. But still, Montour's gonna have great field position at the 46-yard line, 26-yard punt. We have to get it up on defense, Mike, and again, only a six-point lead. That extra point we missed earlier could come back to haunt us. 8.01 to go. All the fans have got their money's worth here tonight, Mike. I don't think they're going to be too interested, Dean, in uh, trying to establish anything. I think they're just going to keep trying to hit the home yep, run yep, yep, until not? the Rams prove they can stop it. This is package of quarterback. 
But he's going to keep it up the middle, and here he comes. Near side of the field, 50, 45, great block from Banks, 35, 30, down the sideline, first down at the Highlands, 25. On tour of that tough Parkway Conference bike, and here they come. They are charged up on that sideline. <laughs> Twenty-nine yard run for Package that time. That puts him in a plus territory and more importantly puts one tour in business first and ten. 7.52 to go. And remember, on a second Highlands touchdown, Hooterbaugh's extra point went wide left. Now Dieter resets to the left side of Package this time. Receivers all over the field. From the 23, Pekic going to keep it off the left side, but lucino has got a hold of him and drops him for no gain. Pekic again, the junior. Second down, 10. The ball at the 23-yard line. The clock is winding. Seven and a half remaining. Regulation time. 5'11", 180 Connor, Mike. And we mentioned a lot of juniors here tonight. Banks to the right. McElwain is up on the line. Looks like a little confusion out there, Mike. They have Dylan Powell now playing in a safety position. And Pekic off the fake is Ooh. hit. Dropped at the 20. Thrown back on a heavy hit by Devlin. And Devlin's slow to get up. Pekic again. Put his shoulder down. Is Devlin getting up? Now we have an official official timeout. Yep. Yeah, Devlin is up. He's coming off the field though, Mike. That's bad news for the Golden Rams. I think that's why. So a three-yard gain on that one. They're looking at his hand, Mike. Doggone it. Third down and seven. The ball at the 20-yard line. The clock just under seven minutes now. Plenty of time. Look, looks like They're popping a finger, a finger back in place. Big third down here. You know they're in four down territory, no doubt about it. Here's the snap and package is back. Rolling. rolling hit. Throws it. Caught. Is he inbounds or not? He is Rolling inbounds at the nine yard line. Great catch by Milton Banks. First and goal, Spartans. Package. Again, three for three now. That one for 11 yards. That's first down, and again, Billy Devlin being worked on the sidelines, Mike. That's bad news for the Golden Rams. Four catches, 70 yards for Milton Banks. It's first and goal for the Spartans. It's 6.36 to go. The ball at the nine-yard line. Trying to finish up a miracle comeback here as they were down by 20 points with three minutes to go in the third quarter. And he double reverse, double reverse Banks, Banks to the left side with pasture. He's at the 10, the 5, touchdown. And now the all-important extra point, Mike. Banks scores it, and Montour has come all the way back to tie the game. Going around, Mike, with 628 left. They're going to face a challenge here. A lot of momentum on Montour's side. Montour got the ball at the Highlands 25 with 118 to go in the third quarter, trailing 20 to nothing. And in five minutes, they've tied it. And now Andrew Quirrell, we mentioned they've had problems on these. Uh, and the Rams before. jump offside as Sinclair was trying to come around the corner. On the reverse, Milton Banks, he's stepped up when his cousin EJ got injured. He's done the job for him, and like I said, the extra point now could give Montour the lead with 6.28 to go. Plenty of time, by the way, just as an aside. That's a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> but you got to wonder what the thoughts of the Highlands players right now after this has happened to them. This is a kick in the gut. I come down to David Buderon, Mike. Here's the snap, the ball is down, Crail's boot is up, and it is good! 6.28 to go, and Montour leads it 21 to 20. Timeout at Plum, we'll be right back. In the last six minutes and 50 seconds, Montour has erased a 20 to nothing Highlands lead, and they lead it 21 to 20. Now we're gonna find out, Mike, they have to dig deep, it's gut check time, it's a group of seniors. That leadership all year. Are gonna have to How about Tyrell it. just running all the way back? That would be good. There he Over comes at the two. Yards. He's at the 10. Gets a block. But he's going to be dropped at the end. The ball is loose. And Montour has it. They're going to calm down. Let's see. Let's see. No, Highland. Somebody 
Somebody got down here to get you it. got it. Let's see who's down there. Choma. And he just Woo. recovered. Oh, boy. That's a big one. That ball was loose. Okay, the Golden Rams. Coach Reno wanted to look for a replay. There we go. <laughs> Golden Rams get a chance now, Mike. 6.17 to go, but a long way to go. Starting at the 15 yard line. Montour 21, Highlands 20. What a ball game tonight at Plum. You got your money's worth. Here we go. We've seen Sinclair do this before. He's back. He fires. Too tall for Edwards. They try to slant as he ran inside of Josh Brophy, but it's incomplete. And Mike Sinclair is 133 yards passing tonight. 17 and 16 attempts now. And now we've got to get something over the top, Mike. I'm telling you, they, they've been, they're doing that. They're working on that fake to do that hitch and go with the... Uh, it's twice in a row they cut the pattern off on Edwards. If he just does a fake and goes up the field, he could beat that guy. Second down and 10. Receivers all over the field. Devil in the sidecar. Sinclair on a roll. Sinclair stops. Looks in trouble. Hit. Whoa. Sacked at the 10 yard line. Petros Giorgelis, along with 55, Dan McMurtry. Mike, that's a covered sack. Nobody was up. Definitely a covered sack that time. Jeff Sinclair, Mike, 99 yards, now down to 70. We have to get the ball back if we don't get a first down. Yeah, it's, it's still okay to run the ball at that point. You, you wonder, I know they hadn't been doing much on the ground here in this half, but Montour looking for the pass. Third and long. Devlin, uh, movement. That's, moved that time. they did. And the wheels are coming off here, folks. The wheels are coming off. We did get a timeout by Montour. Okie dokie. That helps. Hold on. That's number two for them. Island scored a touchdown in the third quarter at 625 left. Sinclair ran it in for three yards. It capped off an 11-yard drive. They had a 20 to nothing lead. They got the ball back after Montour was looked like they were driving for a touchdown. And Joe Locks forced the fumble, got the ball back, took it himself. Highland's got it at the eight. Devlin with a big 16-yard run on a second and 13. Gave the Rams first and 10 at their 21 with three minutes to go, leading 20 to nothing. They got a, a nice play on the, on the ensuing play, but there was a holding penalty. It took the Rams back. They ended up having to punt the football. Montour got it at the 25-yard line with 118 to go in the third quarter. Two plays later, they were in the end zone, and the Rams haven't been able to stop them since. Scored three touchdowns in less than seven minutes. A lead by one. And the Rams face a third and 14 just outside their 10-yard line. And how many chances do we give away in the first half, Mike? A lot. If they don't, it, Plum will be forever known as the land of missed opportunity if they don't come back here. Sinclair, it's a quarterback draw. Runs it to the right. Oh! Good block that time by Lucchino. Sinclair up over the 20, but that's the back stick as he gets to the 19-yard line. It's fourth down with 5-12 to go. I think you got to kick it out, Mike. Put I'll tell you what. It, it's a nine-yard run for Sinclair. Turning clock, and here comes the punt team. Wowee, and now the defense is going to have to rise up and stop. Well, the good news is, Mike, I don't think they'll pass. I don't know why not. Well, yeah, I know. I know what you mean. You know, you put it away, and then the, you give the other team a chance. But the field position is going to be great again. The shoemaker hasn't been able to punt it any more than 30 yards tonight. Now you got a good one that time. Hit the ground. It hit. Oh, it's okay. odds. you got to catch that. Oh, what a great break for Highlands. Get down on a Shoemaker gets off a monster. It Pick it up. you got to save Touch the time, up. guys. Touch it. Yeah. Stop At the 23-yard line, Dudley finally puts a hand on it. What a punt by Shoemaker. There we go, Mike. Now we get to the momentum swing. 58-yard punt for Shoe, his longest of the year. And now you if you're on, if, Dean, and we talk about it all the time, both ways, every team we do. If you're Montour, you have to catch that ball. Yep, yep. yep. Now you put it on your defense, Mike. 420 to go. <laughs> and and again, 21 to 20 Montour. 
Yes, as we say so many times, that's a missed extra point. Yep. It only the third one that Buderbaugh's missed all year out of 39. Let's go, guys. Suck it up. Carrie Dieter in the backfield. Or Peckage, I'm sorry. It's Peckage, 22. McCune, the motion man. They're going to give it to McCune on the end around. He gets a block, turns a corner, but great pursuit by Devlin, Devlin to drag him down at the 25 yard line. Mike, when do you start taking our time out? Well, not yet. With four minutes to go, I think that you probably ride the series out. What do we and have maybe after the third, maybe after the third down play before they're about to punt. Maybe. How about a screen pass too, Mike? We get that ball back. We haven't done that all day. No, and the way they're barreling through there, Dean. Yep. I still think they're going to do the hitch and go to hitch and goes to Edwards. Second and eight, and package keeps it, and he's tackled by the shoestrings by by Devlin again. As he gets it up to the 30, the 28 yard line, and the Rams are going to take their first time out at 3:34 remaining, fourth quarter. Montour with a one point lead, and a big, big play here. Yeah, here's the biggest third down play of their careers, Mike. And again, Golden Rams. How many times, too, Mike, on the deep balls do we have balls dropped, too? Just a lot of missed opportunities here. Montour has taken advantage of the few they've had, Mike, and that's the difference. We have had a lot of opportunities, Mike, they haven't taken advantage of. They've had few, and they've taken advantage of them all. See Billy Devlin being worked getting on. Getting wrapped up. There. All right, now, if you're a Montour, what do you do here? I know what i do. I'd hitch it up and try to throw another long one and see if you can hit him again. I mean, I, yeah. I, don't, I don't think there's any loss in it. Yep. I mean, it... it that's that's been their thing, and I mean, if they if they make a first down here with Highlands with only two timeouts left, it doesn't exactly do it, but it almost does. And the Highlands fans are up in front of us, exhorting the defense. And a comeback for the ages by Montour tonight. Hopefully for not. Hopefully it'll only be temporary. This reminds us of the Moon game down at uh, Elizabeth Forward a couple years ago. Had to make a stop, they did. They got it back and kicked the field goal. Peckich, he's back. Here they come, he throws it. It's Drop. incomplete. Oh, he was one of the It's incomplete, it's dropped by McElwain at the 45 yard line with two hands on it. He threw a wound deducted Hunter's open fire on from the stands that time. Stops the clock at 3.30 to go, and now Montour will have to punt it. McGowan will be back. If we have a punt block we haven't used this year, now's the time for it, by the way. Is that package is first incomplete? He's three for four for 85 yards. Unbelievable. You know what, Mike? We got Jeff Sinclair back returning this he, kick. I don't think we're fair catching this one. No, nope. we need everything we can. Every Here's yard. the snap to McGowan. He gets it off. That's it's high. high. Oh, that's a good kick. Yep. It's going to hit. Bounce our way. It's going to take a Highlands bounce. They're going to get okay. good field position All right, quickly on. at the 44 yard go. line. 320 to go. 25 yard punt only, Dean. Yep. We need to get a big kid here, Mike. And like I said, I'd love to see David Buderbaugh, as you say, Mike, say it for me, pal. Let that Buderbaugh do what? First down Highlands at the 43 yard line. This is the first time really in this in this half or since things have started to go south for them that they've had a little bit of field position here in this fourth quarter. The first two times they've gotten the ball in the fourth, they got it at the 20 and the 15 yard line. Drive for the ages, kids. Here we go. First down at the 43 yard line. Even the Dean stood up. Got the green pen up, Mike. Got Brady on his unicycle. Right up the middle, Jeff Sinclair behind his offensive line up over the 45 to the 48 yard line. Good solid five. Second down, five yards to go. The ball at the 48, the clock now just under three minutes to go. Fourth quarter, Montour 21, Highlands 20. Yep. Highlands scored the first three, the Spartans scored the last three. That's really quickly here, Mike. Edwards put far to the right. Ernest Stewart in the slot. Sinclair rolling, looking, cuts it. 50, 45, here he comes to the 40. 35, 30, down the sideline, 20, 15, 10, out of bounds at the five. Jeff Sinclair. 2.30 to go. How many on that one, Mike? 
They're going to mark him out of bounds at the nine yard line. 51 yards. And that puts him over 100 now, Mike. 51 makes it 136. And again, Mike, say it for me. We want David Budabar to do what? Kick an extra point, Mike Chubb. Here we go. Kick an extra point. Got out the new green pen. Let's go, boys. First and goal at the nine yard line. 2.30 to go. Montour, I believe, has only one timeout remaining. If we get that far. Sinclair running left. Follows a man and dives to the goal line. Touchdown. Touchdown! Jeff Sinclair! And I don't care if I blow out the monitor or not, Mike. I hope they got him back at Comcast as Jeff Sinclair just put Hollins back on top with 2.18 to go. You got to go for two now with 2.18 to go. This is the first time I've ever said that in my life. <laughs> you got to go for two now. Wow, what a job on that. Highlands one for two on two-point conversions this year. And let's see if they call timeout to set up the play because I know what it's going to be. They're going to move the ball to the right hash. Timeout. They're going to put the ball in the right hash and they're going to roll Sinclair out to the left and they put trips over there and he runs it in. We know what the play is. Whoa, boy, oh boy. Highlands leads it 26 to 21, 218 to go and a wild one at Plum High School tonight. It's like we've had different gears tonight, hasn't it? Well, and I, we talked about his ability late in a game to bring you back late in a game. We yep. talked about that yesterday. Saw it at Blackhawk last year. We saw it at Blackhawk and we saw, saw it at Greensburg. Greensburg right? and, and nothing that after watching him play for three years, nothing that he does surprises me Phenomenal. or any of these guys. I mean, that offensive line looked like a reborn group on that drive. And again, Mike, putting his two points up would be big. So now here's what you do. Now they're going to put the ball in the right hash. They're going to put trips left. And they're going to run Sinclair to the left. He's going to he's going to run to the left, roll out to his left, to his opposite side. If he finds somebody open, um, usually send somebody toward the post. He'll throw it there. And if nobody is, he runs it to the corner. That's the play. Let's go, guys. Everybody up. Everybody up. Montour has how many timeouts left, too? One. One. They've big. used That's two big. timeouts. That's big, too. So let's see. No, they're going to overload the right side this time. They changed up on us. Like if he, maybe he runs the neck to the left and tries to beat him to the corner. The big two-point conversion. He's just going to run here. it up the middle. He gets to the left. Turn. Yes. Reaches. Yes. Good. Yes. It's good. Jeff Sinclair on a two-pointer, Mike, and that's a big one. Because that forces Montour, if they do score, they'll have to either kick the extra point or go for two themselves. What would you think would happen there, Mike? Oh, they'll kick and try for overtime. Uh-oh, we got a guy down. I hope it's not Sinclair. I hope it's not anybody seriously injured for that matter. Let's see what the story is we now. We need Jeff Sinclair in there at free safety. Well, we'll take a look down to our left. You see the shot. A lot of injured guys. I, I don't want to speculate because I'm not exactly uh, sure who it is. Let's take a time out. We'll come back and we'll give you all the info right after this. You see Jeff Sinclair walking off the field. He may be talking. There's, isn't that neat? With Peckage going up and shaking his hand. Outstanding sportsmanship there. You like seeing that. And, uh, well, I'll tell what you what. Game. Neither team deserves to lose are you, this one. I was going to say, are you going to say it or I? Oh, you, okay, you just did. It's going to be a shame that somebody had yada, yada, yada. And how many guys have gone down for both teams? Like E.J. Banks, our outstanding quarterback. For us, we've had Billy Devlin broke a finger. Kenny Chemba got banged up. Uh, Vickers has been on. Gabe Clark now. Jeff Sinclair done. Look. Trying to fire everybody up now, guys. The all-important kickoff. Yep, be a great time. Two for minutes and 18 back. seconds left. We have Montour with one timeout left. It'll be on the defense. And the defense had a great series the last time. And Montour started at their 23 after they didn't catch the punt. Yep, that was the key, Mike. And that really is a swing point in this game right now. That ball hit at about the 45-yard line, a 40-yard line. So here we go. Booter ball will kick off. And he kicks a squibber. Touch! Hits the first man, McGowan. He picks it up at the 31. Gets hit. He gets no gain as he's dropped by Kazmir Chicken Ermintraut. And Leslie in on there too, Mike. 70 yards away, 213 to go. Hodden's ahead by seven. Okay, now it comes down to defense, Mike. And Jeff Sinclair is not out there, Mike. Here he comes. Sinclair comes out. Dylan 
Powell going to come back off the sideline. How many guys do we have out there, Mike? A playoff game for the ages. Powell's confused. Yeah, yeah but how many three, guys? Four or five. Oh, there's a penalty marker. Too many guys on the yep. field. I knew it. We had 12 guys. Or is it a get-back warning? No. Legal participation against the Rams. Substitution foul. Now again, Mike, Dylan Powell's not used to playing defense. So let's, we're, we're, we're going to prevent defense, Mike. we got Dylan Powell. we got double free safeties in now. Boy, how, one added, interception, Mike. One added interception. an extra defensive back. I'm one looking, interception. I'm looking the sack route. But. Come on. One interception. The quarterback is 22. Peckage. One interception. Their third one of the night. He's back. He one throws it. McElwain makes Keep the catch. McElwain is thrown down and out of bounds at the 41-yard line as Gary Negley came over to knock him out of bounds. Peckage now is 90 yards passing. The gain was of four. Second and one. Dylan Powell's asking for help out there, too. Like, keep everything in front of you guys. And like I said, one interception, one time. Try to go up against the clear. Second and one. Clock at 2.07. It stopped with the out of bounds play. Peckage is going to keep it. Down. Sweeping to the left. Needs to get out of bounds and does with the first down up over the 40 to the 41. He barely has it if he does have it. Boy, he, it's right at the stick. I'm not even sure. Let's see where they mark it. Boy, which would be it is. It's a first, a first down. down. New set of downs, Mike. That's a tough thing to see. Vickers comes off. Mike, we're going to go with a speed rusher, Tyrell Dudley. 2.01 to go. Highlands 28, Montour 21. Okay, guys. One time, interception. We've had four touchdowns in a little over a quarter. Been crazy here in the last quarter. Package calls the signals five wides. And they're going to run a double reverse. This is Burko. Burko to the near side of the field. Burko breaks the tackle, 45, hit from behind, and dropped. Boy, flying out of nowhere was Clayton Ham to get him from his defensive tackle position. Great play, though, for the Spartans. They get 13 in a first down. Second time they've run that, Mike, and that time when Dylan Paul came up, he didn't know how to make that tackle, Mike. He's back to protect on defense. At the Highlands, 47. The clock at 142, and it is ticking. On tour, one timeout to go. Banks the motion man. He's That's Milton. Watch. Milton has it. Cuts back up inside. Is hit and dropped as he gets running. to the 43-yard line. The clock moves as Ham was in there again for Highlands along with Lucchino. Gain of only three to the 44. Second down and seven. Oh, guys. Spartans, 118. The clock is running. Remember, Montour with only one timeout left. Peckett right up the middle. Peckett for the move to the outside. Gets a first down, 35-30, and out of bounds at the 29-yard line. 105 to go. Peckett picks up 15. And more importantly, Mike stops that clock. First and 10 for the Spartans. Got to protect that goal line, Mike. Everything has to stay in front of us. One minute, five seconds remaining, regulation time. Montour has made all their extra points tonight. That's an upset. Trying to get Banks on the island here with Gary Nagley, Mike. Hey, you, you know what? Now, nah, I'm really starting to think about what you said about maybe they're going for two and try to win it. We've seen that happen. Here they come. Banks on the island. Package back. Fires it. Caught. Milton Banks Keep at the 19. Inbound. Negley keeps him in bounds. Inbound. It's a first down, though, at the 18-yard line. They'll have to move the sticks. Peck is now 100 yards passing, Mike. He has been the and deep he, surprise. And no moving doubt about it, it right down the field. He's 5 for 6. Clock kicks. 51 seconds to go. At One the 18. time, guys. Let's get an interception. One time. Peckage is back. One time. Peckage looking. Fires over Long the middle. Open. McCune. Touchdown. Oh. Unbelievable. What did they do, Mike? That's a good question. 
Good question. I think it is a question seconds. now. I normally you would think that they would just kick it, but do they, does anyone have anything left? Pekic, again, Pekic has been, has been unbelievable Nick tonight. McCune. I think he may go. How many yards three. for that, Mike? How many yards? That was an 18-yard touchdown. Time up, Montour. They may go for two. And we've seen it happen in the past. It takes a lot of guts. But you're the underdog. You've made this great comeback. Remember a couple years ago with Highlands and going yep. for the touchdown at Pine Richland, yep. kind of in a, you know, not a playoff game, but still. Nick McHugh come right over the middle, Mike. 69 yards on the drive. And this is it, Mike. What do they do? I think they're going for two. I really do. Well, this is where you hope the inexperienced quarterback, Mike, can come into play. He's uh, he, What's the stats? He's, he's, he's six for seven for 118 yards. They're kicking it, Mike. Two touchdowns, and they're going to kick. Now, we've, Dean, I've been talking about it all game. They've had all kind of on, problems this year. Time. Andrew Crail. Miss, miss. Andrew, miss. Andrew Crail. Miss, miss. Not a fake out here either, Mike. That 21. Right, and that ball. is Josh Bryan, who played quarterback at the miss, end of the first miss, half. Miss, 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 miss. Here's miss, the snap. Miss, it's on miss, the tee. Miss, the miss, kick miss. is on its way. Miss. It's up. It's good. 39 seconds to go. We're tied at 28. And Mike, where's our overtime rules? Unbelievable. What a comeback. But you know what, Mike? They left the 39 seconds. I know they did. Lots of things can happen here. This has been an amazing football game. Ken Choma, Mike, has his helmet off in the silence. He's on a kick team. I hope they have somebody in to replace him. If you, uh... If you turned the TV off when it was 20 to nothing, <laughs> shame on you for six yep. weeks. Yep. So 39.1 and a 28 to 28 ball game. Montour got the ball at their own 31 yard line with 2.13 to go after Highland scored on a three play drive and put together a seven yard, a seven play drive. Man, they made, I mean, you talk about ripping it up in seven plays. They made eight plays. They made five first downs. Seven plays. The first play was a penalty. All right, Mike. 39 ticks left. Now maybe you get a return. It could and like come back said, down to David Buderbaugh again. 39 seconds. A lifetime. Boy, the Montour team, I'll tell you what, neither team deserves to lose this game. Like, there's no doubt about it. He kicks a bouncer. Oh, it goes past the first Pick man. Stewart, got to get the football. He does at the 12-yard line. That's I think he just take 35 seconds. You take a knee now or you give it a shot. This is an interesting call. Yep. Man. They couldn't have botched that any worse. Overtime, we start at the 10-yard line, correct? Overtime, you start at the 10. Unlike college, you give it at the 25. In high school, you get first and goal at the 10. And that's it. And we haven't had one in a long time, have we? Uh, I can't remember the last one, Mike. Uh, the last one I remember was the first year we were at this. It was our first game, remember, after 9-11 against Knock at, at the Nick. Yep. Um, and Chris Catoni was involved in that one, too, kicking a field goal, I think. So here go the rain. You got to be careful now. You don't. You certainly can't turn it over. 35 seconds. We're going to take the knee. And we're going to go overtime. We are going to go overtime. They will toss a coin, and then give someone a choice. You usually like to pick defense first. That's for sure. 21 fourth quarter points for Montour, Mike. Unbelievable. Coach Romito just walked by and said people are getting their money's worth tonight. Ain't that the truth? No doubt about it. But I think the Rams have to kneel one more time. Nope, they will not. As regulation time will come to an end. Bonus football for you all tonight in the AK Valley. That's the end of the fourth quarter with the score. Highlands 28, Montour 28. We will gather ourselves and be back with overtime right after this. Oh, but don't let that fool you. We're not done. Just because there were zeros on the clock, we have more football to go. Look at the coin toss, Mike. Guess who's out there for the coin toss? Who is out there for the coin toss? EJ Banks. How about that? In his street clothes. Well, they'll call it because they're the visitors. Now, Banks had a big smile on his face, too, Mike. Well, he should. <laughs> what a game. They do, they've done all this without him. What a game that Package has had.
in this second half playing quarterback for these guys. So we'll see now. They'll toss the coin. They're explaining the rules. The rules go this way. You get the ball first down at the 10-yard line. It's first and goal. You get four downs to get it in. If the defense creates a turnover, they can't run it back for a score or anything. It just ends the possession. And then you get the ball back. Each team gets one possession. Just like It's the college rules, folks, yes, except that you start at the 10 instead of the 25. And that's, and that's it. And, of course, there's always that choice that if the team scores the touchdown first, you can go for two and try to win. That, All right, here we go. Highlands has won the toss. Or Highlands is getting the ball. I don't know if they won the toss or not. He wasn't really demonstrative, uh, Bill Hyde Camp, if they actually won the toss or not. Montour won the toss, and they picked defense, which is basically what you do. And now the decision will yeah, be on that now. What do on the other end, right? right, now think about this now. Um, with Mont Lucero took a timeout, and obviously they thought about going for two at the end of regulation and decided to kick. So he's probably going to be in the same position here if Highland scores a touchdown and then Montour does. If he thought about it the last time, you go into one overtime, it's there again for you. So the Rams will start. At the 10. And again, the Golden Rams. 10-0 coming in tonight, trying to set school history with an 11-0 record. Have to gut it up here, Mike, and not only do they have to do it on offense, they're going to have to do it on defense. That's the great thing about overtime. Both teams get tested. First and goal at the 10. Sinclair up the middle, right I'm through the right. middle for a Highlands touchdown. How do you go for two, Mike? Uh, you I think that when you're first, I think you kick, Dean. I think you kick it and make them make the decision. 157 yards now rushing for Jeff Sinclair. And Mike, hopefully that's going to be a theme to set out in overtime. Highlands means business, 10 yards, Jeff Sinclair right up the gut. Now Mike again. All important extra point. Booter ball on to kick it. Booter ball will kick it. Now remember, Cody Mame snapping on the short ones. Lenoski to hold it. It all needs to work. It's a high snap. Lenoski puts it down nicely. That kick is up yes. and it is good. Highlands leads it. One play, 35-28. Now Montour will get the return visit starting at the 10-yard line. All right, now, I don't really want to see prevent defense. Let's just play straight defense. Like, forget the prevent. Well, play you can't. Straight. You're really not going to play the prevent at the 10, though, because there's not that much field That's right. cover. That's right. So, if I was Highlands, you know what I'd do here? I would just... Maybe, I know we always play a zone, but maybe man him up. Maybe man up Sinclair on Banks. Take him out of the game. Take your chance with the other guy. Sinclair, his fourth rushing touchdown he threw for the other one. And again, quick turnover here, Mike. Yeah, a turnover and the game's over. You don't run it back, but if, if Montour would turn the ball over, the game is over. First and goal, Spartans at the 10, overtime. Highlands with a seven-point lead. Package the quarterback. Carry D to the sidecar. Now they look over to the sideline to get their instructions. Everybody checking. Team, guys got to be so tired both ways. Package keeps it through the middle. He's down to the two. Package picks up eight. Second and goal. Second down. Peckage again, Mike. Nobody tell him tonight he was going to do what he did. Philip Peckage, junior, 5'11", 180 pounder. Now, uh, if they score, do they go for two to try to end? That's what I was talking about before. I mean, I really think that that's a, that is a question for them because he, he obviously was thinking about it the last time and how far do you want to go? Second and goal. Right up the middle, Peckage. No. He didn't get in, though. He stopped at the one-yard line. Big defensive stop that time by the middle of goal. Nate Maskus with a torpedo effort there came over the top and did the jump. Okay, Mike. Still third and one. Third and goal at the one. Now you know there's four downs. There's no go there's no turning back. <laughs> yep, they're not gonna kick a field goal here. No, you it's again. Diving package, goal line scores, touchdown Montour. Okay, Mike, now we'll see if they go for the two or send out the kicker. 
Lucer going to gamble here or not? I, I don't see a field goal kicker yet. They're going for it, Mike. This is they it. are going to go for the two this now. You, you kind of figured. This is it. The whole season, season on the line. Comes down to one play. It's Highlands 35, Montour 34. Come on, guys. This is it. Now you, you, get, you get a timeout in the overtime if either team would like to use it. They add those on. Okay, guys. Let's go. So this is it. <laughs> timeout. Who's taking it? Highlands will. Okay. Now, Mike, you know. Luce Sarah, you got to give him credit. He's going for the big kahuna here. And, and, it, and it, it all comes down to you got to gauge how much your team has left and how much longer you can play. And yeah. he's basically going for it right now. What a game. And this will what be the last game. play of the game. Now I know what it's like to be a Cubs fan. Uh, third, third fan of the Bill. You, Bill, the game's not over. No, do not. Okay. Do not go anywhere. The new, I go. understand. I see the new president is a White Sox fan. He had a I White Sox. That, I wonder what they, what they think of that on the uh, on the north side of Chicago, huh? That's well, Mike, again, what do you think they're going to do here? I think that's a great question. Yeah. You know, I, I I don't know about a throw, but I think that they've had so much success on motion and end around and reverses that I think that you probably got to get the ball in Milton Banks' hands here. Yep, yeah, maybe in some way, shape, little, or form. Run that reverse a couple Bring times. Bring them around. Sam Albert asked for everybody to get on their feet. We're on our feet here in the press box. This is it, guys. The whole season on the line. Ten and zero. Trying to set school history here tonight. Let's see what the Golden Rams can do, Mike. It all comes down to this one play. Banks is split far to the right. Defense did a great job all night in the first half. Let's have one here in the second half. Now we have a timeout. Timeout. Mont it's like basketball, yep, they Dean. To see what they it's were like come basketball. Out <laughs> wow, Mike. The tension. Yep. It's unbelievable. Montour. And Help Highlands it. putting together an epic here. 69 points. Tons of yards. And one play left the, at the three-yard line. Oh. One play. And again, like I said, what do they do here? Package is in uncharted territory, that's for sure, Mike. I don't know how much experience he got this year with E.J. Banks as a starter. And the reality was they came out with uh, Br Josh Bryan. Bryan, right. He was their lead pitcher. He didn't do a bad job, but Peckage has been a secret weapon here tonight. Again, he's completed five of six passes for 100 yards. The Eight. winner, if they have anything left, probably gets Montour next well, week. Or, Blackhawk. Uh, Blackhawk. Well, I mean. guess what? Blackhawk was running 20 to nothing. We thought that was a score. Yeah, you'd too. think it was safe, right? Have to check that score. Guess not. Here we go, Mike. The entire season, everything these kids have put in, the sweat from all of this comes down to this play and this play and it all, alone. And it all starts up front. This yep. is this is one of those where you hate to be trite, but that's what it is. Big push. We got Devlin, we got Sinclair, we got Lakino. These are the veteran seniors. Let's see what they do against Package here. Toss it. Dieter right side. Dieter, no! Did you look at it? No! Highlands no, wins! No! No! Highlands no, wins! No, no! No! The Golden Rams have won! The Golden Rams have won! Who made the tackle there, Mike? Who knows? Let's give the whole team credit for that tackle. They're picking somebody up down there. Who is that, Mike? There are Montour players all over the field. I see Peckage is down. Truly the thrill of victory and the agony of defeat. Oh boy. Look like Mike Duchette, Mike. And Nathan Mask. Dieter, the they, they ran the option. They ran Dieter to the right on the option. Wow. What a crazy, crazy game, and we are going on to next week. We are. Thanks, Wally. Selecta here, Mike, and again, so many keys to this game. You go back to, realistically, when Tyrell Dudley fumbled the ball, we don't get that ball back. We don't get the chances we got, and Jeff Sinclair, Mike, you got to give the kick credit. Boy, did he get it up. 99 yards after 15 carries, went down to as low as 70, finished up at 159, because, again, he did such a great job in that overtime, one play. And everybody, you see the hugs down there, Mike. And again, we got a lot of kids injured. Right? A, a tough, tough battle. And give Lucero credit and his kids, boy. Either team, tough way to lose. There's no doubt about it. Highlands survives 35 to 34 in overtime against the Montour Spartans in one of the great WPIL playoff games you'll ever see. And Sinclair made the stop, from what we gather, uh, to stop K.
carry Dieter. They ran the option. Pekic pitching it to Dieter off the right side. And, and the Rams had a lot of players over there. And Sinclair came up to make the stop. And you see the Rams on the congratulation line leaving the field. And the Rams live to fight another day. Next week we will go on and play either Blackhawk or Mars. Sight and time to be determined. Um, and fight it will be, Mike. It I don't can. know what they'll have left. But uh, they'll show up. We're going to have to, a lot of injured kids. We're going to have to get them healthy and get them ready for this week coming up against Blackhawk or Mars. Like you said, who knows who won that game? And again, what and a great game here this evening. Hotlands comes back, wins 35 34 after being ahead 20 to nothing. Once you got your tape out, hope you didn't set it for two hours. Wow, let's wrap this up. Thanks to everybody here at Plum that helped, that helped us out. Uh, uh, they, they've been great. The folks here in the press box have been outstanding. Bob Alpino, the uh, athletic director, Coach Bill Romito, was here tonight, and we'd like to thank him and congratulations on his retirement. Hopefully, everything will work out. Cool history here tonight. For him, at Rams go 11 0 for the first time ever. Thanks to Boom Boom Mancini, John Danknich, and everybody that helped us out. Um, wow. Um, that's it. Final score. Final score. That's hard for me. Once <laughs> again, that final score. Highlands 35, Montour 34 in overtime. The Rams move on to the semifinals next week. For Mike Choma, this is Mike Pavlik saying, whew, we'll be there.